O.P. Anthony, Jim Norton, and now Rich Voss, Voss. has joined the program. Here, Rich. Got a bunch of people calling in. Want to talk about being tased? Also, we got someone that's very annoyed with us. Tom in Boston, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Hey, man. Listen, oh, and, and I know you guys are in a, in a little uh, soundbite war, you know? Yeah. I love it. It's great. Yeah. Oh, you, you're better than that with the turtles. It's just, it's just ain't cutting, man. It ain't funny. But oh, the, boy. You're better than that. Oh, like the boy. the turtles line? Yeah, man. I mean, you, you, you got some great ones. That just ain't one of them. Oh boy, you didn't you didn't you, like you didn't call with this, did you? you didn't like the t- oh yeah the turtle. Now I'm gonna play it twice as much. Yeah, you know how it, oh, you, know how you really works. should have called the show. Well, let me ask you. You should have called the show. Which one do you like? I got you now? right where I want you. <laughs> Which sound clip do you like? I like better? turtles. Which one do you yeah, like? One, yeah. Which one do you like, Tom? Okay, go ahead. No, which what one? Was my you- favorite. Yeah. Uh, werewolf movies. Yeah, that is yeah, a good that one. Is still really good. I like to make werewolf movies. All right, Tom. Movies. All right, we'll fade out this one soon. I like turtles. But today you're gonna have to hear it a lot because you called. <laughs> Thanks. Let's. Uh, oh man, let's go to Jason. A lot of our listeners hung up. They couldn't wait for the break. Jason and Randolph, what's up? Hey, I'm just calling about this whole case thing. I don't think it's a, a fact that the cops have a new toy to play with. It's, it's a fact that I'm pushing their chest around being in charge of something. I think that these guys were beat up in the school, you know, in the sandbox at school when they were growing up. The parents took advantage of them. And now they got a little bit of a fucking... Uh, whoa, a little whoa, power. whoa. Sorry about that. They got a little bit of power, so they want to puff their chest out and prove that they're in charge. Some guys, yeah. It's about, I'm in charge. It's my, my house, my rules. You're going to listen to me, and... I get a taste. This is going to help me prove that point a little bit more extremely. They did a you know, power corrupt. Sorry, sir. Absolute so. power corrupts, absolutely. All right. We get it. We know. Uh, so, uh, but they don't have absolute power, and they are on some level accountable, and some of them are corruptible and some of them aren't. But they did like a great psychological profile of cops, and they said that them and criminals have a very similar personality makeup, but both went in the... I guess to, mm. to do something that extreme, like professionally or, or a lot, you have to have a certain personality type. I don't like the fact that he just threw out absolute power corrupts absolutely. Oh, I know. I don't like that. So does the buck stop here? So get a hold of yourself. Why don't you speak softly and carry a big stick? Absolutely. <laughs> or go grab a, a bird in your hand. It's worth yeah. two in your bush. Six or half dozen the other. Six. <laughs> Six or a half dozen. Like hold, hold on hold one on second. Hold on a minute. Hold what on one it? second. Sir. Wow. Absolute Fox's stupid. first words of just, just not disappointing anyone. Absolute stupidity appears absolutely <laughs> stupid. Fox said six. What is it? What did you say? Six or one half dozen the other. Six or one half dozen the other. Is your father Yogi Berra? Why? Six or one half because dozen. Because you just take expressions that are very cliche and like you remove parts of them and then just combine them. Save time. Six or one half dozen That's of it. the other. You've never heard that saying? I've heard. <laughs> oh my God, Rich. I've heard six of one, a half dozen of the other. Six to one, a half dozen of the other. Yeah. Six to one, not six or a half dozen of the other. Six to one? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's six to one, half dozen of the other. But I've heard six of one. If you think about six it. Six of one, a half dozen of the other. I've heard it of. No, because you got six of one, the and then a half dozen of the other would be. It's it, what the, what the saying is is it's the same thing. It's six or six. I've heard it played like it was odd. Six to one, half dozen of the other. Like that's the way. Like it, odds, like, six to one. Six to one. Six to one odds, half dozen of the other. Like that's what I heard. I my never heard saying. that. Thing. Six or one, half dozen of the other. Wow. Two things. In the real world, I'm nobody questions that today. But here's the thing. You know what I learned yesterday? Do you know what? Do you know what? Uh, don't look a gift horse in the mouth means. Do you know Me, what? Yes, if you hand me a present to close my eyes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> do you okay. know that? Do you know what uh, don't look a gift horse? Yes, I do. What? Because what? a lot of times, I'll, I'll tell you, okay. horses were typically used to bring gifts to um, the American Indians yes. because of the uh, uh, anthrax. And, and, and I'm sorry, uh, what, what do they have? The, wait, wait, hold the anthrax. Smallpox. Because I, I meant to say smallpox. Yeah, um, that sounds alike. Smallpox, you would, they would not interact with the Indians, so the horses would actually bring gifts on their backs on a saddle because they didn't want to interact with somebody with smallpox. Wrong. Wrong again. I, I, I made it up. Yeah, Don't look okay. a gift horse in the mouth <laughs> yes, means you, know. you, you tell the age of a horse from its teeth. 
So you open up its mouth and you look. And if it's a gift horse, don't be, you know, it's a gift. You shouldn't be uh, uh, saying this isn't good enough. So you look at the teeth and see how old the horse is. First of all, I just thought that you are very smart and you know everything, <laughs> yeah. but it just hit me that somebody probably just sent that to you on the computer. No, no, I, I used to own horses. You God, do you listen horses? to the show at all? It, it, I, Anthony used to be a cowboy. I was a cowboy. Much a cowboy for a few years in, there. In, in my youth. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I used to rope and ride and shoot. While you were dressing sexy for drug dealers to get a little more drug. I was racing Jim Canna. Yeah. Jim Canna barrel racing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do listen, but I must have missed that day. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I, I missed a horse day. All right. I, uh, uh, yeah, that, that is an interesting expression as I, to why. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to get a gift horse and then just knock his teeth out. <laughs> I wish I could punch hard enough to <laughs> knock a horse's teeth out. <laughs> Hey, uh, <laughs> how stupid it would feel. Don't punch a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> the listeners don't even miss a beat ever. They're now uh, using the Rich Voss method. Uh, you got Coke Logic writing, great minds think a lot. Never oh, right. I heard that one yesterday. Never forget. On a replay. Right. It's hysterical. I'm driving home listening. I hear the great minds think a lot. Uh, let's go to Jeff in Chicago. Oh, did we pound you for that one? No kidding. Jeff. <laughs> Hey guys, hey. Uh, Opie, Opie, I don't want to tell you you're a genius. Why? Uh, the little turtle line, yeah. I love it. I was busted up yesterday, and the reason why is that every time you played that turtle thing, you'd follow it up by saying, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, it, just, it just had me going. All uh, right, cool. I like turtles. Say yes. I See, know. People still enjoying the I like it's turtles. turtles. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's say hi to Scott in New York. Scott, what's up? Hey, buddy. Hey, hey it is Scott. Rest. Don't put all your glass houses in one basket. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your what? All your glass houses in one basket. <laughs> <laughs> They're just using the Ridge Voss formula. Today. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I want to get another play out of this. The Mr. Bucket thing we were, we were playing yesterday. Mr. Bucket. Mick Jagger gathers no moss. <laughs> Sorry, I just missed uh, one of our contestants, I think. Yeah, for some reason, not for some reason. We're doing Miss Pal Talk today, so there's a lot of women, a lot more women, a lot more hot women in the uh, Opie and Anthony Pal Talk. Well, who's today. your big window open to? Uh, fast TM3. What? All right, let me just see. All right. And there's baby girl. Who's the other blonde in the white tee? Sarah J. Sarah J is lovely. All right. All right. Maybe this wasn't a good idea to do this contest. Because oh, because we're distracted. Oh, my God. Are we going to be distracted? Well, all I'm today? trying to do is pop up all the girls in the windows so I don't miss out on one. But there's guys with gay names. So you look and you think, oh, that's got to be a chick. And then it's a, a goddamn uh, guy. Right. And then I'll, I'm going to start bouncing guys with girl girl names. All right, so we're going to start doing it. Miss Pal Talk contest starts later on this morning. But, yeah. uh, Mr. Bucket, we were doing this whole Mr. thing Bucket. yesterday, and uh, we got some uh, some positive feedback on the, the, the beeped version of the, the commercial. Yes. I want to play that again, but first let's uh, play the original. This is a, an actual game for kids there, uh, Rich Voss, from the early 90s. I don't remember this commercial. Oh, I do. My girl said, you don't remember this commercial? I'm like, no. Mr. Bucket. You really remembered this? Yeah, definitely. Did uh, not. Watch the lot of TV. Mr. That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. <laughs> Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all gonna run. I'm Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls will pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. Wee. We're all gonna run. I'm Mr. Wee. Bucket. Wee. Mr. Bucket from Milk Bradley. Doesn't the guy who's doing the Mr. Bucket announcement, the Mr. Bucket, the balls in the mouth, doesn't he look like he's like on a Coke binge and his teeth are grinding? <laughs> he's grinding Mr. His Bucket, teeth. the goal is like he just can't yeah. get it out fast. Mm. All right, we took that commercial and we uh, put a few beeps in it. We like to play the, the beep game every once in a while. Wee. And it sounds a little differently. <laughs> Mr. Bucket. That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my I will pop a Mr. Bucket. We're all gonna <laughs> Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his 
I like that beeped one. Yeah. <laughs> I really hate the way it starts off like with a noise and then like the delete the, the way the boom boom boom. Yeah. Oh, drives yeah. terrible. Oh, Mr. Bucket. What a creep, Mr. Bucket is. <laughs> Just a talking bucket walking around the house bothering your kids. Shooting balls out of his mouth. Mr. Bucket sucks and he's a health hazard. <laughs> a talking bucket. Yuck. How horrible is that gig for the studio band that has to come in and play the background yeah. for that? I'm Mr. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a yeah, bass player a and a bass, yeah. Uh, you want to be Getty Lee and the next thing yeah. you know you're strumming for Mr. <laughs> bucket. For the Mr. Bucket theme song. They dub children's voices over you yelling wee and wee. You might recognize this music when your uncle walked into the room. You know, the background music to Mr. Bucket. Yeah. I, I, you know, I got greedy. I was. It was uh, yeah. You had a great point, and then. And I got just, greedy. You know, well, I don't know what but that let's, uh, let's go to Bob in Wisconsin. Bob, what's up? Hey, Bob. Hey, I got a question for Boss. Yeah. Hey, Boss, do you suffer from irritable bowel syndrome? <laughs> Irritable vowel, did you say? Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah oh. I don't want to even give him that one, though. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bob. Let's little... go to Joe on Long Island. Joe, what's up? Play on words. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have one of those Mr. Buckets, and the balls used to get stuck in his mouth every morning. Of really? <laughs> that was probably, it looks like there would be a problem with the mechanism, because if you drop yeah. it in the top, it looks like the, the, it dropped yeah. in the top of his skull, and the, the balls get fired out of the mouth. <laughs> but it looks like the balls would get stuck uh, coming out of the mouth if, they got, if the mechanism wasn't functioning properly. Yeah. Did but the how? bucket call Kenny to help him? What? Oh, that was a great line. You know, uh, I'm no one knows what you was mean. It? I'm trying to figure what? out. What? Maybe you're getting what? too deep. Yeah. Exactly. You got to just loosen up and. Yeah. What happened? Don't there? try to. Don't swing for the fences. No, he was yeah. pretty excited. He moved forward and everything, and he grabbed onto the console. He he thought he had a, a good think. one. Here's what Voss does with his stupid ring. <laughs> he, he taps it because he's a nervous Nelly. Like just in life, not on the air. He go the punchline. <laughs> You can always hear like a little <laughs> his ring hit right, there you the go. console. We just, we just took you inside the show. Now you'll hear that tap all yes, morning long. Tick, you're right. You're 100 percent right. That I try to hit a home run instead of building. Yeah. Know, I try to instead of just, it's the first inning. I should just take it easy. Yeah. And, and you, you know what you're thank and, and look, because sometimes the you, you know the strike is uh, the, the ball is uh, it's what it's a strike. You just gotta sit there and look at it. You don't have to swing at everything. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> or, or hit a pitch to the opposite field once in a while. How about that? How about taking a pitch to the low, uh, uh, low right corner and how about over the first baseman's head into right field for a, a nice blooper. little single? Or sometimes you have to bunt and sacrifice for the other guy. Well, you do that a lot. You certainly do. <laughs> but use the bat and stop using your chin and face <laughs> to allow the ball to hit and just fall stupidly off of it. <laughs> Man, I love watch. You know, everyone's talking about the tasers now. Tasers under fire. Don't take the tasing videos away from us, man. That's they're, what doing, they're doing a whole story on uh, Good Morning America about uh, the uh, tasers. That's what I wanted to use great. on stage, remember? I told you. Yeah, that. tase the audience. Yeah. That'll help. All right, hey. Uh, <laughs> Wake them up. <laughs> hey, why don't we uh, bust a nut with corn nuts? It's not about anything else. Go to your room and lock the door. Because when you try it once, you want to try it some more. Try it some more. Nuts, an intensely crunchy corn snack, comes in seven nut busting flavors. Bust a nut at a convenience store near you. Is that a real commercial? What? Steve? What's up, E Rock? We got dumped. Why do we get dumped? I don't know. Dude, of course. The dump clock's going. We got dumped. Why are we getting dumped? You can't dump out of that. It's a real radio spot. Did anybody play for him first? Huh? Did anybody play for him first? Yeah, maybe that should have been run by. Did he just get panicky but, uh, down the hall there? What yeah, he, happened? He, thought, he didn't know. I mean, they should. Someone should have ran it down there for him first because he thinks that's a a parody. The, the key is that's a real commercial. That's not. That's not. That's a, a real commercial for corn nuts. Yeah, 
I hated those things. They barely They're terrible. They, oh, did I hate they those? They taste like rotted teeth. They barely <laughs> talk about the corn nuts in the commercial, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Gives him an excuse to do the slug mm. line over and over again. That's got to be kind of new because corn nuts aren't that old. I mean, it's corn nuts like... are ancient. Are you kidding me? All right, All listen. The flavors, seven flavors. 1975. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what? Now, because flavors just came out recently, like when they came out with like the salt vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> the salt vinegar potatoes. Please, God, stop his heart in mid I can't. <laughs> flavors <laughs> just came out? <laughs> no. Like how they assorted flavors on different things. <laughs> so you think it's crazy? But like I've never hated anybody as much. <laughs> wow, you're, like, in no. you're in rare form today, man. Potato, like take for instance potato chips. Okay, all right. Back in the day when we were kids, they had barbecued and regular. Okay, but all of a sudden, in the last maybe five years, six years, they came out with all these new flavors: the the salt and vinegar, sour the cream and onion. Right, wait, wait, wait. See, they that only... is recently. That's not like salt great. and vinegar chips are within the last five years. Five six years. I, I wouldn't say I they had them in the old west. Holy! Are you kidding me? Do you re you really don't think that flavors? I mean, flavors have been around forever, but <laughs> you, did you you relapse? <laughs> what? Did you relapse? No. Did you relapse? <laughs> can, can you do me a favor, Hawk? Can you Google? Uh, Being a uh, father at fifty years old is killing uh, you, man. A, a newborn father, father of a newborn. Uh, oh, okay. Can you can you uh, can you Google something about this? When did f somehow find when flavor started? I get, I, I'm gonna bet this. I don't know what year it was. What? Can I? But it wasn't O two. Can I tell you when flavor started? Yeah, flavor. When uh, was it Adam? Yeah. Bit into the apple. Yeah. There you go. That's when flavor started. He went, wow, this tastes good. I miss the Voss. Dumb crap comes out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, a couple things here. Let's go to Jim in Pennsylvania. Jim, what's up? Yeah, I'd like to kill two bosses with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Ross, my ears left from the stick. <laughs> flavors. <laughs> flavors. Boss flavors are relatively new. Five years ago, they started, according to... Yeah. Five, year Five years Five years ago, flavors started. Six years ago, you went into Baskin Robbins. They went, vanilla. <laughs> yes. That's all we have. We're not even... Here's some Here's some uh, frozen milk with sugar dumped on it. <laughs> yeah, we don't have even one flavor. <laughs> We're licking ice cubes only six years ago. Home of zero flavors. Yeah. <laughs> 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 31 in five years, not bad. <laughs> We're cranking now. Five years ago, there was no flavor. Alex from uh, New York City. Wow, what a revelation. <laughs> Flavors have been around forever. They had uh, orange tang in the 60s when they sent up the moon people. Yeah, the moon people. Yeah. <laughs> moon people. Astronauts. It's Astronauts. catching. <laughs> Let's go to Ed. Ed, what's up? I wear a SARS mask around Voss. <laughs> or you just start sounding stupid. <laughs> Hey, Rich. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zars mask. God, sorry. I got, uh, yeah, we're all over the place. I'm sorry. Uh, Ed, what's up? Hey, Rich, I got a question for you. Is the earth round or flat? <laughs> oh, please. Please. And how's my kid doing? Good. Good. That's all you how's got? My how's my kid, kid doing? Hacky bit. Did you sleep last night? No. <laughs> Not at all. Forty minutes I slept. Why? What's Baby going on? Up crying all, and I'm yelling. Oh. I'm yelling, and Bonnie goes, "You're not mad at me." I go, "Partially your fault." But I, why baby, are you mad at her? Because your baby's crying. Well, she carried the thing for nine months. Well, we, have break. Extra, we have an extra room that she could take the baby into and and, and sleep and do whatever. So she doesn't oh, keep the baby in your room. The baby's sleeping right between us. Oh, my God. It's I, over. I, I, Wait, what do you mean in sleep? between you? You're going to roll over on it. Yeah. In between, like, she's on one side, I'm on the other. Is that normal baby's... at that age? Just to... No. What, for the... Put it, it, might, put it in it, a crib it, somewhere. My older daughter still sleeps in between <laughs> us, but uh, <laughs> she won't get into the crib or the bassinet without crying. You got to train her. I mean, I don't have kids. Dude, you got to... Seriously, you got it. Yeah, we give her a biscuit every time she does it. No, but I mean, you got to just say, hey, straighten up, kid. Mark and then you let him cry and cry and cry, and you got to take the pain until it falls asleep in that stupid bassinet. Oh. A bassinet. I'm sorry. I, they have a cute... Sorry, yeah. I didn't like the fact you would let me touch your baby. I wasn't going to be poking at it. Oh, you didn't want to? When I first saw your baby. Well, because Is that yeah, normal? No, in the beginning, before six weeks, you oh, have okay. to wash and dis disinfect, your, especially your hands, that, you know... 
Because the baby's, okay. you know. Acceptable. So you're mad at Bonnie because, because... No, I'm not mad at her at all. Because uh, the baby kept yeah. you awake. I haven't... And, and yeah. she should know better to get the baby out of the room and go to the uh, special she'll feeding room. Flop one out and yeah. let the kid uh, it, And it's so partake. weird watching, like, like, because my, my first kid is my ex-wife didn't breastfeed. And watching her breastfeed, she just lays there. She has a technique where she'll lay down, like not hold the baby too, like she's almost like leaning on... Her arm. Let the kid and, do all the work. Yeah, and, and just drops her breast in the baby's face. Oh, that's good. good and, you know, she's watching TV, as, you know, and it's kind of like weird in between that. It's kind of uncomfortable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Are you jealous of the baby yet? Or the fact his hands are bigger on her breast? <laughs> <laughs> are you jealous of it? No, not at all. It's, she's a very uh, just, I didn't sleep less, you know. But even if I had eight hours sleep, I would still say that potato chips just came out with all these new flavors about six, seven years. Fan, all the new ones. Fans said 1950s. <laughs> flavors have been around. Relative to Voss, that is recent. <laughs> Wait, potato chip flavors? I don't, fan? Yeah. yeah, potato chip flavors. Oh, yeah, barbecue, but what? Salt uh, and vinegar. <laughs> salt salt vinegar. and vinegar. Yeah, been the one you use, yes. Flavored potato I remember eating salt <laughs> no. and vinegar as a kid. No way. Now that I'm in my early 30s, that's a long time ago. Yeah. Salt and vinegar kind of made a resurgence. But it had been around for quite some time. Yeah. Oh. Where'd you hear? You heard that recently. Where Where'd you hear that? What? The flavors were new. Someone said that. You went, like, yeah, it sounds right. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, because Bonnie said that a lot of the flavored chips came from Canada, like the dill pickle and the salt. Oh, is she a Canadian that tries to push that whole Canada invented everything? A couple things. Mm. Uh, Don't pickle chips. Thanks, Canada. Good. All right, let's say hi. Thanks. We give them, we give them light and electricity, <laughs> and they give us dill pickle chips. <laughs> <It> suck. <laughs> now they're all bragging that their money is the same as ours. And uh, that got, is annoying. Oh, is that bug me? First time in thirty-one years, the dollars are the same. Yeah, the dollar and the loony. What's happening to the U.S. dollar? I don't understand the economy at all. The U.S. dollar is just plummeting. Why? We suck. Yeah, because we do suck. We we got too much cheap money out there. That's what it is. How do we get rid of it? Too much cheap money. We gotta just start burning. Just start our money. burning boatloads of cash. Just start burning your money at home, and the dollar will go back just up. Tell the Chinese not, that the dollars they own are worthless. Yeah. <laughs> why is our money wait, going down the toilet? I don't think because there's too much printed. Why our money isn't worth anything? No, it's they lower. First of all, they lowered the interest rate, and that kind of hurt us. That's why Canadians' money. Uh, yeah. Uh, the shot Canadians' up. money shot up. Let's go to Jim in Wilkesbury before this moment. Makes our money less worthy, worth anything. Jim, go. Hey, boss, just want to know, um, you don't have to worry about rolling over on your kid. It's drooling on your kid, <laughs> rounding the kid. Jesus Christ, boss. Yeah, he's basically saying if the you know the kid is sleeping between you two, you know, the, there's a risk of the baby drowning. From, I, uh, you got to see my, you got to see my pill. Like I drink those uh, crystal lights that you know. Oh, no, because you believe right? in you. No, but <laughs> here's the thing. Here's and they're so bright. Oh wait, wait, wait. It's so. Five years ago, that would have just been water. Okay. I said wait because I'm, I'm keeping track of the here's the things today. Oh, okay. I've had it with him and his here's the thing. <laughs> if you could hit the bell when you hear it too, Aunt, that would be Oh, I, 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 I would never remember. Because, Rich, I'll, you, you I'll do this. try. You say, here's the thing, and then nothing comes. <laughs> I've right, been listen. waiting for the thing. Okay. And so I wake up after drinking, and my pillow is all red and stained, and my sheets Ooh. from drooling redness. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, He's it looks, drooling looks crystal like, light. Looks like it's my face. It's my face is time in a month all over the pillow. <laughs> do you sleep? Do you swallow it, or do you just like put it in your mouth and then lay your head and don't walk? <laughs> just let it oh, drool out. I know. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a lot of parents uh, checking in. They're saying, oh, my God, Voss, not the family bed. You should not no, never. start this out with the newborn sleeping with you guys because then the kid's never going to leave the bed. And guess what happens? First, guess what happens to you, well, my friend? First of all, no Mama's privacy boy, for you and no Bonnie. No privacy. If parents are listening to you guys, what good parents could they possibly we be? We have a lot of parents listening Good, really? Us. Yeah, we do, Voss. Don't take it personal. Calm You're down. molding a like, human being's personality <laughs> right now. I just got upset because I talked about his parents' listeners. <laughs> hey, we got a lot of listeners that have kids, yes. It's time to acknowledge that crap. All right. Well, look, all right. Here's the thing. Oh, boy. Oh. Hold on. Hit the bell. <laughs> all right. Yes. Yes, boss. In the beginning. Okay. When the and here comes the nothingness oh, and now that Jimmy pointed he's out. He's going to quote the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. It's okay 
but when the baby turns like you know a couple months, then you got to make sure I can't sleep, or you know maybe six months and not sleep between you, because then it gets used to. Here's the thing, Bonnie because is baby, so loving this baby. Voss does too. You but he's had see. children. Bonnie is so yeah. enthralled with this baby. She doesn't want to spend a moment away. From she it. cannot you put it see down. The happiness and joy in her face. I can never bring that to her. Like when or she anything in life, oh, could you bring that to? Yeah. <laughs> hey, how about a joy. smile? Could you bring a smile? Could you make someone happy to see you? <laughs> just not a frown. <laughs> Bonnie is is just so in love with this baby, but you can't smother it in the sense that because you, you, the kid's never going to want to leave the bed. I mean, I, I know right. that. I'm telling you, you, you can't. You got to put the kid out on the steps when it sleeps. You put it in a crib on the steps and tell it to shut up. <laughs> That's how you raise a baby. You yell at it through the window. Shut up, bad baby. In the winter. Let's yeah, go, Dave in Straight Pittsburgh. Out. Dave, what's up? What's up, OA? Hey. Poor Than and his useless cake. break sign. I know, it's awful. <laughs> you can't have your cake and kill Voss, too. Yeah, you can't Sir, have why? your cake and kill Voss, too. You could have made a better one than that. You could have said you can't have yeah. your cake and do something funnier, which I can't yeah. think of either, obviously. But that wasn't it. No. Kill Voss, why? Yeah, that's not nice. No, it's not nice. That's We're... not nice. I take that as a threat. Than just threw away his break sign. He should. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. How about that? That's what we do now. It's all about uh, let's not forget, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin checking in today. Otto and George stopping by. And The Rock. Oh, no. We'll also be uh, checking in today as well. It's Opie and Anthony. We have Rich Voss in studio. I just heard Stone Cold Steve Austin has entered the building. We'll talk to him in a few minutes. It's Opie and Anthony. And, man, you get the people reacting out there, Rich. Instant feedback going crazy. Just a few that have come in in the last five minutes. Stephen S. from Bayshore. How long was Rich Voss's oxygen cut off when he was an infant? <laughs> Awful Me writes, what's good for the goose is good for the dandruff. <laughs> and use lad bag. He's a uh, faithful listener of the show. He writes, Voss, I have a two-year-old. My wife and I both have a Ph.D. in genetics. And unlike you, I could say I did work on a cure for cancer. Because you insulted our listeners and said there's no parents out there. Yeah. Oh. I'm oh by sorry. the way, how about this? Work harder if you don't have one. Yeah. So basically, you're just saying I, I, I flopped. I failed. I stood in a lab and did nothing. You should have made a disease, like named a disease, like I worked on polio. Yeah. Or something that we fixed a little. Because no, he, he didn't have a Jewish last name, and I have uh, was a Jew that cured polio. Oh, came out with a polio vaccine. Who? Oh. Hold on. I got it written down. If you if you have a if you have a pamphlet of no, of, I have I keep uh, a list of the Jews that have of Jews who have done good things, different things. Does yeah. he actually have that? But, uh, but here's a bug. You need to look it up. He wrote it down on a, on an index card. You need to look up polio vaccine, Doctor S, -S A L K. Oh, oh my God! Yes. No way! <laughs> what? Oh I can't read my. I spelling. thought you were checking to see if he was Jewish. We all know Doctor A S A L K. Oh, you did? Yes. Everyone knows Is it Jonas Salk. Jonas Salk. Jonas Salk. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you had it written down vaccines. if he was Jewish or not. Do you have okay? Do you have uh, who who discovered uh, insulin? No. Um. I wait. Uh, not as as important. Yes, I do know. It's it's Doctor uh, 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 Doctor Diabetewitz. <laughs> Dude, here's what makes me want to just set you on fire. He pulls out a list. I'm like, this idiot downloaded a list of, like, say, uh, important Jews and, and just reads it. He actually wrote it on an index card. How many names are on that list? About 10. What else do you have on them? Yeah. Have to ask. What else? Uh, who? Uh, and why do you have Lost? that? Why not? Why? In, in, in case of an argument. Right. You can actually go. Look to the at the shirt he's wearing. Yes. It's got a JDL shirt on. It says, never again. It's got the big star David with the big fist in the middle. Yeah, and so. Jews are just embarrassed by him. What else? Yeah, what, what else you got on your little index card? Uh, Wasserman test for syphilis. Uh, you should be happy about insulin weight. Vitamins discovered by Dr. Funk. Polio vaccine. We already went through that. Polio pill. Dr. Something. I can't read my writing. The Schick test for diphtheria. Uh, we came up with a chloral hydrate. Mr. Schick. Dr. Uh, Leaf. Yeah, these are all Jew names. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. St why? <laughs> because no, have... when are you going to ever... You, you can't... How are you going to win an argument? What, are you going to walk into the bathroom? I'll be right back. And look right through it. I got And then my come back with that name on your notes. tongue? Uh, uh, I don't know. Joe Why from have... Jersey writes, does he have the famous Jewish sports stars book? Oh, here we go. What is it? One page? Well, 
Yeah, it's from a movie, Airplane. Yeah, oh. it's a pamphlet. So, pamphlet I, I want some light reading. Yeah. About famous Jewish sports legends. Well, Jewish, that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty much it. Jewish sports owners. Oh, yeah. Well, that. Well, yeah. We go to AJ and Never Syracuse. again. There you go. AJ. Yes. What's okay. up? Uh, I was just wondering if uh, Voss used to play Mr. Bucket with his drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, very good. <laughs> There's a guy that lingers longer. And then someone wants to start a uh, a new bit. I don't know. We could vote on it. Scott from Chicago. He writes, Callback Friday. And his Callback Friday thing is, if mothers rule the world, uh, I still wouldn't drive that sociopath to her operation. A reference to Than's oh, mother. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's go to Dennis in Kentucky. Dennis, what's up? Hey there, Dennis. Dennis. Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? What's up, man? Board, Den. Hey, Rich, how you doing, man? What's uh, going on? Is, is, does your index card have, you know, accomplishments from uh, from Jews killing the only living son of God? Oh, oh you know wow. Well, well, maybe he was a little mouthy. <laughs> yeah, that really was <laughs> yeah. wordy. Yeah. yeah. Now we have, have to do day, this guys. because of that. I like turtles. Yeah. 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 So do I. Uh, Cody in Indiana, Good. what's up? Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> hey. Uh, you have that card so that you can bring it up in in case of an argument, right? Yeah, not really. Just have it. Uh, you're in a non-hostile situation, and you can't even read your own handwriting. Stupid. Let's go. <laughs> in a hostile situation? Well, if it was hostile, do you think if I was getting ready to fight or whatever, I go hold on. Let me get out my card. Yes. It's not going to be a hostile situation. Yeah, why do you I carry around that card, really? I just had it in there for for oh, references. Yeah, okay. Well, why can't you just memorize that stuff if it's yeah. important? Yeah, well, type it out. And print it. Or just know that Jonas Salk invented the, uh, the, uh, I really thought you were for polio the vaccine. to make sure he was Jewish. When would no. that be an argument? Was it George Washington no, Carver did the polio cure. No, it was this guy, Jonas and the Beanstalk. <laughs> oh, God. You know, you say how I tap my finger when yes. I, but you, when you do a punch line, your eyes pop out of your head. Like you, you, Okay. Do the same thing, but yours is visual. Mine is, you know, you can hear it. Right, which on the radio is okay. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> because I'm on stage, I'm very unpleasant to look at. But it's a little easier. On stage, in studio, everywhere you walk. But when you're driving. By the yes. way, it, it's got to be said, you killed in Camden. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's time to give you a compliment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no joke. I mean, at the ONA Travel Virus. No man. joke. That's probably well, not I, the I'm thing to no, say. No, he well. killed. He was, I mean, they loved you. Yeah, it was fun. The whole tour was fun. Every every show. There wasn't a show that wasn't fun. True. For real. I, you know. That's a shirt an Israeli should be wearing. No. Not an American Jew. What, are you kidding me? The it's... Fist and the Star of David. That's like Israel. Those guys are like... Oh, yeah. They're, they're tough mothers over there. Hardcore, yeah. man. Hardcore. But you're just, a, you're just an American Jew guy that just... I don't know. That shirt's a little too like, hey, I'll kick your ass. It's too tough for you. It's, yeah, it's too tough. Here's maybe it carries a little message, okay? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Maybe, what message you know, is that? Maybe, you know what? Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> is that the same? How about educating the messenger? Can we do that? <laughs> 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 and the problem is this. That too, it, it, that, it is an Israeli, Anthony, that's an Israeli guy's shirt. That's a yeah. tough guy's. No, never no, again. If it was tough. an Israeli that's shirt, it would be a bomb Syria shirt. It would be an Israeli army shirt. Because the Jewish Defense League or the Jewish Defense Organization was created in America I know. to stop anti-Semitism. I'm only saying, okay. Maybe many, many of them are tough. But I'm yes. saying you, yeah. a shirt with a fist. First of all, it looks it looks like Stern's. Uh, yeah, it looks serious. like uh, the logo for. Uh, oh yeah, and, for a uh, serious I think Howard's this was channel. This was a little uh, around a, a little uh, earlier than Howard. A little okay. earlier, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you know. What I mean, you Voss should be wearing a shirt that says, "I'd appreciate it if you refrained from doing that." <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> and not like a fist, but like a hand raised over the shoulder, like. <laughs> <laughs> like a palm up, like yeah. We got it. I wish the never again meant you speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to David. He's calling from Israel. David. Rich, you're embarrassing all of us. I want to run my head into a brick wall and find a terrorist to kill me. What are you doing to us? What are you, an Israeli, oh. Israeli they, Mickey they, Mouse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Israeli ballet Mickey Mouse company. Mickey Mouse Blum. <laughs> <laughs> 
What did, what did you say? Mickey Mouse Blum. Oh. <laughs> Put Blum on the end of I was Mickey just Mouse. trying to make, Mouse make it sound Jewish. Uh, All right, we're going to change gears. I, I, I'm wrong. essential to Disney. So one on Mickey <laughs> shoveling out the walkway Disney. <laughs> Let's see the women are getting ready for the Miss Pal Talk contest. Them. Anti-Semite that Walt was. Walt. <laughs> Good old Walt. Good old Walt. <laughs> Walt wouldn't let you in the park with that shirt on. He didn't like Jews? No. Oh, no. What? No. What? He was kind of a communist and didn't really like Jews. That's why there's no real Jewish-themed rides at Disney. Oh, it was spinning dreidel? It is. Well, you go into a bank and deposit money and come back out <laughs> on a little car. <laughs> it's like the, the Epcot Media Center. You can oh, sit in the president's chair. And just, <laughs> yeah. Just, See what it's like to run the media. What's, what's the Italian ride? You slip in <laughs> and slip out. It's great. You, you get in the little car. It's a little IROC. And you go underneath a, a girl's armpit hair. And <laughs> yeah. You're in the ride. And it's all yeah. scary. But, but it's in your mom's house, and you're not allowed to leave. Right, you can't 40. leave. And you're and you're and, and, and the car, you're covered by a silk blanket. And when you get up, there's a bloody horse head by your feet, and you have to change your clothing. <laughs> and then you chase ethnics with baseball bats. <laughs> yeah. And then you call a Jew to defend you. <laughs> of course. Oh yeah, that's, that's the other the ride. ride a lawyer. <laughs> it's a lawyer's office. <laughs> you, like you open different law books, and the theme from that country plays. <laughs> You open up like the Canadian law book, oh, Canada, and then you close it. <laughs> Jewish rides at Disney. <laughs> it's a big nose after all. Our mount was cut down from 40 stories to 30. <laughs> oh. Well, there's, and, and then there's Penny World, where you can walk through and just pick them up. <laughs> but then there's somebody at the door when you leave that makes that has to count them and make sure you've given them back. <laughs> Awful <laughs> walk <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> People are imitating Chris Crocker on his feedback. Leave Rich Boss alone! Leave him alone! He can't help it. He's dumb. He's, He's dumb an idiot. idiot. It's a big <laughs> <after all>. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> oh, I, I had a good one. Oh, that guy was fired. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we teeter. <laughs> uh, this is coming in from the Lionheart. Rich is essential, essential to the boar effort. <laughs> the boar effort. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, that would say. Oh, we're out of here. You say that one. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, man. Oh, that is very funny. Uh, I didn't right. know he was anti-Semitic. Maybe I've heard that and just didn't know it. Yeah. They had the whiplash yeah, like ride. Anti-Semite. The whiplash the ride where the lawyer waits for you to get off it. <laughs> I think you have a case ride. It's, no, what they call it is this. this, this what, they, what they do is this. Everybody gets into a room, and then an ambulance is driving away, and everybody chases it with their arms out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, boy. It wasn't wordy enough. Zip. Zippity Judah, zippity A. <laughs> what a wonderful day. Lots of litigation going on today. Zippity Judah, zippity A. Mr. Bluebird's on my show. Mr. Jewbird's on my show. <laughs> it's like Everything is satisfactual. Zip, but it do not. And Disney. He, and he liked putting uh, African Americans in that position of like, like it was still the 1800s. Oh, you the know. real Sambo type of. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. yeah. Everybody's name. That Disney was a creep. I Everybody's name was that. Rochester. Yeah, for Disney. He was a real creep. What a dirtbag. He just wanted entertainment for little white children. When, when did he die? What's that? You couldn't get into the Mickey Mouse Club unless you were like a little Aryan white kid. You know, I seen it. They slammed the door on so many kids, you know, trying to get into the Mickey Mouse. Like, if you turn on the Mickey Mouse Club when they were kids, they were all little. Oh, yeah. A net kids. Little white kids. Well, her original name, do you know she changed her original name? It was Jewish. Who? It was Annette Funicelloberg. 
<laughs> hey, what's wrong? I hate Annette Funicello. I'd like to take a, a fistful of, like, Jif peanut butter and put it over her mouth until she just suffocates. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I want to do that. Doesn't she have Michael J. Fox uh, disease there? Oh, yeah. Uh, she's got bad. the, uh, I think she's got I just MS. call Michael J. Fox disease. Why not update the, the name? Wait, I thought she had MS, not the... the oh, part. was it? I don't know. You hey, us. MS. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And Song of the South is still banned? They banned that song where? The where? movie. Huh? Oh, they banned the whole movie, Song of the South? Yeah. yeah, Disney won't put it out on like a DVD collection. Like they bring back those movies, and yeah, that was kind of a woof. Somewhere in the eighties, yeah, they banned it. <laughs> he loved the the old dancing Negroes. <laughs> he liked that whole thing. Do we have? Can we get copies of that, or you can't buy it anywhere? I mean, is it on like online? Somebody has to have Somebody it. Somebody has it. Yeah, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Hey, uh, I hate to interrupt this, but oh, uh, yes. let's just get this over with. <laughs> is Tom alive Friday? Ooh. I'm still standing. On the Opie and Anthony show. We saw Tom for the first time down there in Camden, New Jersey, and wow. Well, he's uh, he gets around, yeah. which is good. Um, he's a little pale, <laughs> I would say. A and I think that has to do with uh, his lung capacity. Uh, not Probably getting, not a... getting that oxygenated blood into his uh, into his face into and all the crevices of his body. Yeah, yeah. You know, some of that blood just goes by, still kind of bluish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tom. Yes. Tom is alive. There he is. Another week. Wow, you're hanging in. You're doing all right, Tom. Yeah, yeah. I took a couple of days to recover from last Saturday, but I had a great time. It did. You had a good time. Why did yeah. it take you a few days to recover? You know, a lot of the listeners they drink a lot at these shows, and they need a couple of days to recover. But why oh, did you sure. need a couple of days to recover? Oh, a lot of activity, moving around. A long day for me. Uh, but, <laughs> how did that feel? Because you were kind of a celebrity there. Uh, people taking pictures with you and stuff. Yeah, it was uh, kind of a surreal feeling. Uh, but uh, the people in Philadelphia are really cool, nice. Showing the uh, love, right? The city of brotherly love, they call it. Yeah, Philly's going to miss us, too, when they take us off the air. But, uh, yeah, they do love us, and they love you there, Tom. <laughs> and uh, I just appreciate everything, and uh, I had a great time. Uh, and, uh... <sighs> you know, once he's just alive, really ain't much left. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We get, we got to make it short today, Tom. Anything else? No, I just wanted to say that. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you. That's cool. What, what was the, uh, the favorite part of your uh, time you spent there at the virus tour? Uh... <laughs> Is Tom Alive Friday? <laughs> I'm still standing. On the Opie and Anthony show. He's got a horrible lung disease. Yeah, there you have it. Tom is alive. We've got to take a break. we got Stone Cold Steve Austin in the green room. He'll be in, in and on the show next. Rich Voss, where are you going to be? Uh, banana, uh, bananas in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey? Yeah, this weekend, Friday, Saturday. Very bananas good. Tonight and, uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, for tickets, 201-727-1090. He's a dope on our show, but, man, his uh, stand-up is great. <laughs> He's it really a dope is. in life. We don't want people to confuse the two issues right. ever. Voss is a funny, funny guy, man. Thank you. Very, very funny. It's Opie and Anthony. Yeah, you're checking out Opie and Anthony. And right off the bat, I got to say, we have to be crazy to make uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin wait. We're insane. <laughs> I apologize. You came here early, but we're in the middle of something. You're sitting around the green room, and then you walk in. I mean, I've seen you on TV, but whole, who the F would ever mess with you? Hey, it was okay. I was, uh, I'm was. i moving in slow motion today. I need another, about another gallon of coffee, and I'll be ready. But <laughs> It's too I'm early for you? for the wait. I'm good. You're, you're all right? I'm good. I thought it was Larry the Cable Guy. I love that guy. That's, that's, I thought you were him. I didn't. Yeah, with a hat and stuff. Do you want to get your ass handed to you? 
We would love for you to just do something. Oh, to him. please! That's Rich Voss. I double the stunner. I double dare you to throw him through that window. <laughs> I want to see the you stunner. Double dog dare me, maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be a challenge because it's uh, it's two windows, so you're gonna have to throw him really, really, hard. really hard. You'll definitely get him through the first window, but we want the second window to break it as well, so he falls to his death. I, I've, uh, <laughs> I think we really we really like this guy. <laughs> that would be funny, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. hysterical. We've but, had a lot of wrestlers in here. You have a real, and I, I don't really watch wrestling. Thing, but you have a real vibe to you like like a lot of the guys come in you're like oh that's the, the guy the fun guy from tv but he has like a real like i'm a problem vibe <laughs> it's like i don't feel like the normal protection you would feel because like like even like L liddell comes in chuck liddell is a bad dude but i feel like that protection because he's liddell and i'm like just a regular schlub but i feel like he could strike me yeah basically what jimmy's trying to say every once in a while we have a guy come in here and make it you just make us all look ridiculous like we're 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 helpless. I'm starting to feel guilty. We're helpless in your presence. <laughs> it happened with Chuck Liddell. Oh, that's a good one. And and I and I'm also feeling it with uh, with with you as well. When when I was watching uh, wrestling, you were the one to watch, man. We had a great time. I mean, that's the best job I've ever had. You know, lot, lots of good memories with WWE and uh, you know all the storylines with Vince and Junk and all the toys that they put in my lap to play with. I look yeah. forward to going to TV every Monday just to uh, kind of. It was a big release for me because it let me raise so much hell. Yeah. It was, it was kind of like uh, therapy. No, it was frustrating to me, and I realized, like, the PC police got to, uh, you know, Vince McMahon. When, it, when you wrestled, and at the end of the match, obviously you're opening up the beers, and you're drinking them on TV. Yeah. And then something changed there where also I'm like, oh, wow, Stone Cold can't drink the beers anymore. What's that about? Maybe because he was throwing them out to, like, eight-year-olds out <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that was point. hysterical. <laughs> we used to watch and go, Stone Cold's handing beer to children. <laughs> That's true. This is fantastic. <laughs> they would bring in a cooler beer. That's right. I forgot about that. And he would throw <laughs> yeah. them out to the audience, and these little eight-year-olds are, are catching them. But but then what happened? Someone obviously sat you down in an office and said, we can't have you drinking beer on TV anymore. No, I can't remember when that happened. I mean, it might have been a slow spot there, or uh, I really can't remember. But Because, I mean, we kicked it right back in. Yeah. Because, you know, still, th these days, when I go back to doing an appearance, I mean, we've got the beers and all the stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, so much so much has happened. I mean, I lost track of a lot of it. Sometimes we'll, I'll sit there and talk to my favorite professional wrestler, his nature boy, Ric Flair. And sometimes mm. I'll talk to Rick, and, you know, Rick's been around a lot longer than I have, I Obviously, but he doesn't remember some of the stuff he's done. And I guess, you know, there's so much happened. You, you just, uh, I remember a few things, but I can't remember all of it. I tried to. Yeah. There was Mick Foley's got an incredible memory. That guy will remember oh, every yeah. single thing he's ever done. And I don't know how he does it. And write it in books. And Absolutely. <laughs> he, and he, he writes good books. He's a good friend of ours. He comes by a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a good Long Island boy. Me and him used to travel together back in the day. And yeah. Mix, he's as big a cheapskate as I am. <laughs> We're pretty tight on, on the money there. Are you a real chiseler? Yes, you got to be. You got to save your money. Back back when you first start wrestling, when you're not making any money, and you kind of start griping about the money, the old promoters would always tell you, I ain't got dang son. It's, it's not what you make, it's what you save. You know, it's hard to save anything <laughs> if you're not making anything. They would put but you in you a lot of that mentality. And they put you in a lot of crap hotels, right? Well, you, you know, you got the three or four guys in a car like sardines, and you know, you everybody's uh, you know on the floors. You know, seniority seniority rules. The senior guy gets the beds. Lower guys on a totem pole. You're on the floor. Jeez, oh, can you imagine? Man, and then That's something happens where you just get like kicked up those few notches, and and you're actually one of the superstars, you know. And, and there's still those guys. Do you look back at the guys that are, uh, you know, kind of not at that level and just? kind of laugh and remember what what it was like for that hell well you know what the best thing about it is you got to pay some dues i don't you know maybe sometimes guys get get a break or you know like uh the the system is so much different you know you, back in the old days you had to pay somebody to learn how to wrestle mm -hmm. you know these days you kind of go to school and they, they kind of pay you because it, the territories have dried up and the system's different but a lot has changed but to me a part of the fun was i mean it, it's great when you're making good money and things are good but part of the fun to me was back in the old days i mean you know really starving and not being able eat you know maybe one two meals a day but knowing that you're paying your dues and that's the way a lot of guys came up and, and i think that's what gives you a real appreciation for the business what's yeah. a, what's the wrestling groupies look like i mean were they hot were they like groupies well that's a that's a hell of a question i mean you know it's just like anything so, some are uh, hot some are atrocious <laughs> <laughs> there's a pretty <laughs> wide skill there <laughs> yeah. uh oh that's one right there by the way um
Yeah, that's yeah, Sam is a, a <laughs> big doing, wrestling Sam? fan. <laughs> You're laughing at Sam. Yeah. He had uh, the WWE for his birthday gave him an actual uh, championship belt that we make uh, we make him wear it around here. But he, he, he took it home because he thinks we're going to like throw it in the It, it wraps around garbage can four times. Yeah. But it's the real deal. It goes from his chin go. to his crotch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who was, uh, like, when you, when you were uh, starting out or when you were wrestling, who was the guy that they treated, like, who was just coddled by the, by the, by the like, uh, WWE or WWF at the point? What do you mean coddled? Like, treated the best. Like, which wrestler was treated the best that, like, that you were like, ugh. <laughs> I, I really can't remember that. I mean, guys, you know, it's just kind of a kind of really a pecking order, you know, who's where and but really they don't make a prima donna out of, out of anybody. You know, you pretty much you, you you get in an airplane, it's all commercial, you get in a rental car, you drive yourself every now and then, you know, if you're doing an appearance, I'll drive you around, but they really cater to nobody. I mean, Except the rock, right? I, you know, well, you know, the higher you up <laughs> on the food chain, of course, you get treated better because you're you're higher up in the system, but mm -hmm. but it's by no means do they sit there and kiss your ass. It's not that kind of business. Unless you're making money, you're on a Greyhound bus. <laughs> That's right. Get on the bus. I love Angry Vince. Angry Vince <laughs> is our kills me. It's one of our favorites, man. Oh, <laughs> take your bra off and take it off now. That's it. <laughs> Boy, that whole exploding limo thing didn't work out too well. I, I was. Uh, you know, Damn. I was uh, getting into that. And I was we were all getting into that. it. Yeah. We were finally like really. Into something. That was, was kind of bringing us back to wrestling. It was yeah. very it was funny. Back in. We we were watching the video. We were going over like these conspiracy theories. Sam completely bought it. He bought the whole <laughs> job. And, and we're sitting there going, "No, look, you could see like his foot and his leg." And then you know, disaster strikes, huge tragedy. And uh, they had to pretty much he had to come out and go, "I was uh, I was lying, but." Now I have a kid, and I don't know who it is. Who's the... I don't know. What the hell is that? Well, I'm, I'm interested to see how they're uh, going to do the, the hornswoggle thing, because, I mean, everybody yeah. likes that kid. He's a good kid. And uh, so I saw last episode, and I, I think they can do better. I think they can yeah. do better, but it, it's good stuff, and I, I, I like hornswoggle. There's always, a, there's always a, a strange twist that happens. It's one thing you could depend on. It's, it's, it's got legs if they can. I mean, it's not something you take into the arenas to make money, but as far as TV, if they jazz it up, they got a chance to have some good TV again. Mm -hmm. But I was into the whole limousine thing. I thought they did a good job when they when they blew it up. Yeah. It pulled it off pretty good. It was pretty realistic. Well, it was well, until the, we started making inquiries by calling the police department from the town, and they're like, no, that was like the day before. And, then, <laughs> right, we, and Sam, of course, he's such a believer. He's like, no, we're like, they're just saying that. Sam, the leg, it's a dummy leg swinging there. <laughs> and he was all into the special investigator. What was his name, Sam? Uh, it was from the FIC. The FIC. FIC. was what, what organization was that? Uh, kind of like the FBI. But, they, but the if they used the FBI, they would have been sued. Yeah, well, they used it at first, and then I guess the FBI said, look, don't involve us in this. <laughs> and then it was the FIC, the, the Federal, Federal Investigation Committee. Committee. Center. And, Center, and, yes, yeah. and it was odd because the investigator kind of looked like a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, a tight suit around Oh, him. it was fantastic. Couldn't Come on. a big enough suit for the guy. Great, great gag, man. Yeah. Now, uh, movies, what are you doing here? Condemned. Uh, yeah, well, right? the, the Condemned uh, came out on yeah. DVD a couple of days ago, and, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun making that thing. You know, right now I'm just trying to find another script to start another project, but uh, I'm excited about the Condemned. It's, uh, it's doing pretty well so far. we got a lot of uh, good extra stuff in there, you know, a lot of uh, practical jokes and ribs that me and Vinnie Jones played on each other, some of the stuff from the, the fight camps and learning the, the choreographed fighting, which mm -hmm. was a challenge, believe it or not, because, you know, everybody kind of assumed that coming from the world of professional wrestling that, oh, boy, that'd be a snap for me. Me, but it was and it was kind of difficult because I've never choreographed a match. You go out there and you do it. Yeah, you just do it. You do it. And uh, you know Mick Foley tell you the same thing. So, but it, we show the behind the scenes stuff on a bunch of junk like that, and it, it's uh, it's a lot of, a lot of extra bonus stuff. But a good movie. It's a good action movie. And if that's what you like, it, it, you got to check it out. It, uh, uh, what's the movie about for the people that don't know? I I, I thought it, it looked like a great mo movie. I'll be honest with you, I never saw it. So yeah. I'm going to pick up the DVD and check it out. That'd be cool. Basically, long story short, it's about ten convicts all condemned to die in various prisons throughout the world. And they're bought out of these prison systems by wealthy TV producers. Pretty much fed up with the BS and all the junk in Hollywood, so he, he buys these prisoners out of these systems, places them on a desert island and a deserted island, and uh, makes them fight for survival with freedom going to the sole survivor. That sounds so basically like a great real this, show. Yeah. Well, see, so while this well, is that's going the show on, they really want to make, but uh, <laughs> yeah. we just can't make it yet. 
<laughs> down the road. But right, down the road. Yeah. He broadcasts this over the internet, so basically for forty nine ninety nine, you can log on at home and watch these people kill each other. A so bargain. it kind of ties in with all the rally stuff that's going on what, right now. Were you the producer in the movie? No, no, no. I was just uh, a, you know one of the guys in prison. Convict. What you, the producer? Why would you ask that, there, Voss? I look like a producer, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to produce pain on your head in a minute. I like him produce empty space where your teeth were. <laughs> that would make me very happy. I might take you up on launching that guy through those through plate glass windows. <laughs> yeah, I bet you could toss him right through all of them. Boss, do you have a question for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, I kind of. I do because growing up watching wrestling, you know, and I mean, Haystack Calhoun and Gorilla Monsoon, they would have been everybody. Oh my God. Oh, how old what, are you? Uh, how old? What, who? What wrestler? Haystack Calhoun and Gorilla Monster. Did you adjust the aerial on the old black yeah. and white Philco television? But everybody, <laughs> when those two wrestled, because they were just big men, Absolutely. were so into those two, they dominated everything back then. And where did it go? When did it change, do you think, from oh. just big, big to like glamour and stuff? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. That could be the single... Don't no, call Don't dumbest sit there question. And, and make believe you just heard a real question. I've ever Please. heard in my life. And here's how you, I'll drive him. Do something. Here's how you, Give him the stunner. Here's how you knew it was going to be stupid. <laughs> Too much set up with fact. But yeah. When I was a boy, we, <laughs> no one cared. They're they're Flavors. they're just as big, but now they're in shape. Haystack hey, Calhoun. <laughs> you bring something. But but Haystacks was glamorous. What are you saying? Yeah. See I, I, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Did you grow up here in New York or in Jersey? Okay, Jersey. I see. I, I got a whole different brand of wrestling growing up in you know 100 miles south of Houston in a small town. You know, I grew up on a whole different promotion, and I didn't get a chance to see. I remember uh, Gorilla Monsoon, of course, because uh -huh. um, he was still in the company WWE when I got here. Uh, but I didn't get a whole lot of that brand of wrestling, and I actually WWF back in the day was one of the last federations I got just because of the way TV used to run back then. But uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say uh, it ever switched to glamour. I just think everything's changed. If if you look at old football, Football, from what it is back in the old days to what it is now, I just think the times change and the product changes. It just looks a little bit slicker. Yeah, it's like, still the same business. It's like golf clubs, they the one, you know. Yeah, oh, just boy. like golf clubs. Uh, e Rock, you got a question for Stone Speaking Cold? Speaking of golf clubs, E Rock's a big wrestling fan. Yeah, Cave your head in with one. E -Rock oh, is, E Rock is a big fan. E Rock was very excited when he found out that you were coming in here uh, today. What's your question for? Is uh, the match going to happen with you and Hulk Hogan? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I, you know, they've tried to get that match to happen uh, for a few years now, and I'm just not really interested. Mm. You, you don't want to do any more wrestling? Uh, you know, you, you never say never in this business, but I think, you know, pretty well. You know, I've been out of the ring for a couple of years. Uh, i got a lot of good memories. And, you know, once you get out of the ring for the time that I've been in, if you wanted to go back and just have one match, I mean, the, the time that it would take you to get ready for that match, I mean, you're looking at several, several months right. to get in the right kind of shape, you know, get timing back and start taking bumps in the ring and all that junk. So it would be really a long process when you say one match. It's not just going to happen. And uh, pretty well, you know, I've been there and I did it and at the highest level possible and had a good time doing it uh really focusing you know more on the movies and stuff like that so i still have a long-term contract with wwe i'll always be a part of that company and i show up and i do things you know when it's good for them and it's good for me mm -hmm. and, right. and it works out but that's pretty much the extent i think i got it. the translation uh basically he's saying the movie business uh treats them better hotels are better you, you don't have to share a room with guys on the floor <laughs> i'll tell you what uh, you know i have been i've been treated pretty good with WWE. I know, I'm just, I I'm just, yeah. about that. now you, you're uh, still obviously in great shape uh has your workout changed from the time you were wrestling to to uh, doing movies i assume that you're keeping in shape for for movies because you don't want to play a little skinny guy well you know, but, trying to, well yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna have that problem being skinny I'm no not, i could drive by a cheeseburger on a billboard and gain weight just by looking at it yeah it's kind of ridiculous but on the road because you're on the go so much it's kind of easier and, and in the ring it's easier to stay trim so if anything i'm just training a little bit lighter you know easier on the joints i'm doing more cardio uh but you know when you're not on the road not burning all those calories it's hard to stay trim yeah huh? at least for me of, i do a lot of cardio too it's funny this is <laughs> Look at him. Not that men are like like oh, you know stop. Steve and I are, are similar, but I, I was kind of happy that we had the same sneakers. For some reason that made me pleased that we bought Nike uh, shocks, correct? Correct. And I see there was something similar. To and, I, and I bet you he swim walks just like you do. No, but I felt that bond when I walked yeah. in the room. I, yeah, I, I Jimmy saw the shocks. Well, I know I'm like we're both kind of athletic. There's so Jimmy. There's how they look though on a real man. <laughs> yeah. And then here's how they look I know, I on you, like Jimmy. Why don't you show a real man how you exercise? 
I just, I, He's a real man. I, I, I hit the well, you got the same sneakers. You might need a new cardio exercise. No, you swim walk. He, he swim walks. What's right. that? Oh well, yeah! Why don't you show him, Jimmy? Why don't you just show Stone Cold how you swim, walk, Jim? It's, it's, it's like when you swim. No, you got to stand no, up no, and do it. No, no, you really got to do it. And for then him. maybe he can uh, assess how, how good of a workout it is. Because you guys are bonding. I mean, yeah. you know, maybe you'll you got your shoes turn on. Turn him on to something new. <laughs> 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 Can I now, launch him through the plate glass one instead? <laughs> now, what kind of workout is that? Hey, you think that's uh, that's going to build muscles? And I know. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to build a whole lot of muscles. <laughs> you do that. I can safely say, say that. <laughs> Last I checked, I wasn't an expert, but uh, <laughs> but that just doesn't even look <laughs> like it's going to do anything. Do guys ever? Because Tyson, I think, had this. Do guys ever try you? Like, because they know you're going to kick their ass, but they like they just want to say that they tried you. Like, no, I, I, no one's ever really bothered me. You know, if I'm hanging out drinking a beer somewhere, or having a few cocktails, you know, every now and then you get someone that wants to do the old arm wrestling match, and really? I'm not into the arm wrestling. And I think uh, as far as someone trying you, I pretty much I, I, I don't know what the deal. Is. I think it's some kind of a aura, or whatever you give off. If I'm somewhere, I'm just trying to hang out and have a good time, and I've been really, mm -hmm. really lucky. Some guys get get bothered all the time for me. Most, I'll probably get my ass whipped tonight now that I've said that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, even knowing that you'd kill them, they look at it like, well, he's rich. So the worst happens is I get my ass kicked, and then I got a, a lot. It's like it's a no win situation for a guy like that. Not they start the fight, <laughs> you can't sue them. What are you talking about? Oh, right, we have to take here his comes. Advice. Yeah, well, we do. Five, he yeah. is wearing the uh, got, JDL I'm, Never Again uh, Star of David shirt. So any legal advice that comes out of his mouth, you got to adhere to that. Yeah, I forgot we got the bar fighting champion in the uh, studio today. Yeah. I used to get in a lot of bar fights back in the day when I used to hang at the bar. Back oh, when yeah. I was a guy who screamed, get your hand off my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you share the drug uh, dealing story with uh, a real man? Let's talk about... Uh, it's all about uh, sharing stories with a real man today. He's lost the recovery. <laughs> Drug guys. 21 years. 21 clean. years. Let's sit up. Okay. So All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All but right. say maybe you're doing coke or crack. Say you are. <laughs> okay. Right? Okay. You're addicted. And it's, right. you know, but back in the day, 21 years ago, and say your dealer, right, uh, might be gay. Say he might be gay. <laughs> right. All right. So wouldn't you, as a crack addict, wear, wear shorter shorts, <laughs> maybe? With, with certain things exposed just to get a better deal, maybe. <laughs> you know, just flaunt what you have, if uh, you have uh, it. Uh, I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disturbed, but I'm following you. <laughs> okay, say you're on an island with nine other prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what Voss would be. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the prize. He'd have his face in the sand like an ostrich. <laughs> just lined up behind him. <laughs> and, and as far as we know, he's not gay, but... Back in the day, he would he would get really mad when the drug dealer would pick someone else to spend extra time with upstairs. <laughs> wait, wait, I, where did that one come? I, I, it's, in yeah. it's in the story. in the story. You were well, a little jealous that you weren't picked for the uh, well, special Kevin time got him upstairs. Kevin got a lot of playtime. Kevin did. Kevin. But, but yeah, uh, he's a good-looking <laughs> guy. He always was. Voss is jealous of his other crackhead friend <laughs> he because crackhead. the dealer liked him better. He dressed sex. That's who we deal with on this show. That's yeah. like one of the our guests. So did y'all fight about this? Wait, guests regular. Uh, yeah. did, well, no, no. When no, you're wearing I your just, high heels, I did just, you guys fight? I just knew to dress better next time. That's all. Yeah. You know, maybe oh, better cologne or perfume. Well, or embarrassing. What is twenty one years ago? All ah, right, enough I'm time goes by. Now. Fun. He walked in with Oscar De La Hoya's outfit. With the, <laughs> the wig and a little. You seen those pictures, uh, Stone Cold? Oh, what, what is the it? Oscar oh. De La Hoya pictures? He no. Said, yeah, he he's. Said um, he said yeah, this fake, is controversy. But. He says they're fake, but uh, we're hearing things. He's wearing fishnets. That's Oscar. And um, a women's uh, panties, and a wig. There he is, right there. Uh, get the bathtub shot. Yeah, get the bath uh, where the bat wing is hanging out. There's the... <laughs> now, uh, so Stone Cold, yeah, well, thanks for the zoom up there, uh, Iraq. Uh, he's saying th they're fake, but... Uh, the website is saying, no way, man. They're, and they're standing behind it. That they think they're they're real. And there's pictures of the girl with him. She's a stripper in New York or whatever. And there's pictures of her. There she, she is fantastic. She's hot. Look how hot she is. Like you, you well, Voss had put on fishnets for her. I would, I would too. Well, That's Jimmy, an odd thing, isn't it? Stone Cold Jimmy said he would probably wear something similar 
to what Oscar is because the girl's so hot. Here's the yeah. thing with a guy like that, and it's, it's kind of like cops and judges. I mean, I don't know what you're like like that, but a lot of guys who are very Oscar's a, is an alpha male. He fight, knocks people out. So and he's good looking, so he can probably bang any chick he wants to. So it's boring. So what do you do to take you to get you high sexually? You got to go the opposite way. For him, that's I don't, I don't think he's gay. It's that, that's one way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, again, uh, images that are highly disturbing to me. Yeah, it's a good thing he's a world class fighter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At that point, once those pictures, uh, I love get that out. one there. The gloves and the trunks. The gl well, the gloves look good. He, yeah, we were saying he should hit the, the ring like high that. Heels. Nice. That would really distract the opponent. <laughs> he must hate that one though, because it's like, ah, why do I have to wear the gloves? I bet you the one Oscar likes is where he's wearing the little smart fedora and the wig because he feels kind of pretty but sassy, like an East Village hipster. <laughs> what a <laughs> this idiot! Can y'all make me some copies of those so I can take us with me? Right. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. take. I got some downtime a little bit, you know. <laughs> All right, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Condemned is up. Uh, it's out on DVD now, or. Yep, well, and you're yeah. doing an appearance. That's why you're here. You're, we we haven't even talked about your it's signing. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, yeah. Fye, and let me just give the address. It is tonight, correct? Yep. Opa from six to eight p.m. and it's on twelve ninety Sixth Avenue, which is the corner of Fifty First and Sixth Avenue. Um, and uh, it's at Fye's tonight from uh, six to eight p.m. That is correct. Well, we've done gigs there. That's a nice place. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's a great location too, man. You're, you're directly at Midtown. So you'll be Very signing copies of the Condemned. That is correct. All right. And wrestling stuff? Because, you know, the wrestling fans, they all... Oh, man, there's going to be a lot of that there. And, and, you know, when people come through with those belts, I'll always, you know, sign those. But basically, we're doing DVDs. But, I mean, you know, if somebody comes out, we're going to sign what they got. You probably got to buy a DVD D there first, though. Yeah. I mean, if you bring in one Told or two you. extra things... But don't be abusive. People show up with, you know, five years worth of paraphernalia. Could you, you know, just sign it and then it shows thing. up on eBay the next day? Usually we've got some on there running, running the line and they'll, you know, try to keep it down to, you know, one item per person. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's some kid and he's got a belt. You know, we, we got to take care yeah. of people. Yeah. Then then again, by the same token, <laughs> you want to sit there and spend five minutes with a cat when you've got, a, you know, a line of thousands yeah, of people on. Big line. You hate when they try to tell you what wrestling has meant to them. Like, like, with, like not that you hate the fans, <laughs> but when they try to get into it a little too much, you're like, look, there's a lot of people. Can you just <laughs> shut up? And only from the part, just like like you're saying, there's a lot of people, I man. Because if you had time, I'd love to sit there and listen to all that stuff. Because man, I, there's nobody that's more hands on than WWE mm -hmm. or myself when it comes time to fans. Because you, you know, you see so many many people, they they get a little bit of a break or whatever, they turn into a prick. You can't do that. You got to yeah. take care of the people that take care of you. And Absolutely. That's what well, that's why we we all smile and everything when we do the like after one of our uh, shows, the comedy shows, we uh, do signings and they last a while. And uh, you need an idiot. That controls the crowd. You got to sit there and smile because you don't want people to think you're you're the ass. I mean, you need somebody to go. All right, idiots, move along. One autograph. Shut up. He doesn't want to hear it. And then everybody moves along. And you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You got it. You're hitting it right yes. on the head there. Can you yeah. help us out tonight? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kenny. That's, oh, that's the our, idiots here. I'm sorry. That's our security guy. Kenny, yeah. give us give us one of the lines you use. This is actually the guy that does it for okay. us. No one cares. Tell your story. Walk in. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Move along. <laughs> it's our job to be like Kenny. Come, come on, Kenny, Kenny. Stop. No, no. You know, I'd like to. I'd really like to hear the rest of that story. But Kenny's but being an idiot. You know, Kenny's hushing you along. Yeah. I'd love so to you hear. need the phone. And guy. our acting is awful. Yeah. God, Ke Kenny, no, Kenny. no, 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 no. throw. Mr. Fabasham, I'd love to do your autograph. <laughs> but we're saying Kenny, like as we're already on to the next person. Like Kenny, that's t just a please. Hey, I'd like to <laughs> sign these other seven pictures for you, but Kenny won't let me. Yeah, right, right. seven. Exactly. Next. Speaking of wrestling fans, you've had a here the clip uh the dave willis clip no the the crying wrestling fan it's one of our favorite things you to play in this show oh, this guy's guy's great going. it makes us laugh every time what this guy it? i guess uh, some wrestlers came to like a high school uh gym and uh and he got caught up in the moment and this is what happened it's quick i just want to thank each and every one of y'all for all you've done to your bodies <laughs> it's still real to me damn it <laughs> i'll be Thank Make you. Easy, man. Oh, thank y'all, guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Funk, for saying what needed to be said. I don't want to see it, brother, but it is. Well, thank you. <laughs> you never saw this guy right here? That's my dad. That guy's fantastic. That was real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's still <laughs> real to me, damn it. He even sells still uh, real to me, damn it, t-shirts now. He's got his own website. Uh, Who he's doesn't? Get, he's got a big future ahead of him. Oh, he, <laughs> yeah, he certainly does. <laughs> I don't does. know what it, and what, but he's got a big uh, future ahead of him. I hope fool. Stone Cold throws him through a window. <laughs> yeah. We do have to take a break. Sam, a question before uh, one of your heroes leaves? No. He's trying yeah, to be Sam, come on. He's trying to be cool. Don't be cool. Go ahead, Sam. 
Do you think there's anybody in the company now that has what it takes to be a main event superstar of the caliber that you were in your prime? Oh, nice oh, kiss wow. ass. Good hey, question. Like that's a good question. I'd say the closest thing to it is John Cena. I mean, when, when I when I hit it hard and I hit it hot, and I don't brag about myself, but I mean, I had a, a hell of a run, one of the best ever. But I think uh, John Cena is about as high as it gets right now, and uh, I see. Um, I think he's going to continue to grow and get even bigger and better. He's got uh, a tremendous uh, youth following. I think the youth move, movement right now in the WWE is tremendous, so they're, they're just growing a whole new audience. I would say uh, John Cena is uh, head and shoulders above the rest. John Cena. I, I have a question. Oh, after, no. you're done, oh, after you're done signing, if you're in Hasbrook Heights area, I'm performing at Bananas. And I, oh, I'd love to for you to come. I get you guys Shameless. Well, I want him we to come to the show. Plug-in. No, I want shameless him to come. Plug-in. How far is that from the FYE? It's 40, 35, 22 minutes or something. <laughs> let's, let's get Stone Cold out of here. Uh, Jimmy, what's the plug again? Are you signing copies of what? The Condemned on DVD? The Condemned is on DVD. Uh, uh, it's coming out. And uh, tonight he will be signing copies from 6 to 8. It's at FYE. 1290 uh, Avenue of the Americas is the official address, but that's 6th Avenue. Corner of uh, 51st and 6th. Uh, 6 to 8 p.m. There's going to be a line, so don't be an ass and show up at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Just get there early, and uh, you get to meet him, and he will sign. Very it cool. seems like a very uh, accessible hey, guy. We have the same sneakers. <laughs> well, yeah, but I commented <laughs> on a fact. I didn't try to bring him an hour from the city to <laughs> horse something I was hour. doing. Hey, I'm, I'm performing tonight in Connecticut. Do you want to hop on a plane <laughs> and meet me south of Massachusetts? He's signing something. So 6 I'm to 8, you're show, you never know if he's hanging out. Where he could be staying he's, by one of the hotels in Jersey. You just tell know. me not going. Just please. Tell me please. please. Kenny, Kenny I'd like to go, but God dang, Kenny came up with a hell of a reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Don't call Steve. But Austin. if you could tape it, I'm sorry, but no, if, go, you, go, if go. you could tape that on like a cassette or something and send it to me. <laughs> I have a DVD. If you want. A, can, uh, yeah. Do we have any DVDs around here? Hey, I'll take a DVD if you hey, got one. I got, no, I want to give I don't want to plug my DVD. I have a very funny comedy. I would give you, there's got to be one. I want studio. you to hand it to him just so I can see it broken by the elevator. <laughs> like when he's long gone. No, no, because he Likes com- he said he likes Larry the Cable Guy. How, he likes comedy. He would how watch bummed are you going to be when you walk out of this building today and you see it in the in the? Uh, I in bet the if he gets my <laughs> gutter right outside the building, watches it in his hotel room, he will he will crack up. Do you ha- where's you one, crack you up the disc? One of my DVD. You don't have any of them. Why? Here? Why would they're going sell like them all? Cakes, Rich. Yeah. And why oh, would he no. be watching your DVD why in the hotel we? room when he's one of the most famous wrestlers ever? And he could probably. Oh, he doesn't watch comedy. Not when he could be banging chicks in the hotel. No. What would you do? Would you watch you or bang chicks in the hotel? Dude, we. We've given you, uh, we've known you for eight years. You've given us two copies of your DVD. I give no way. Yeah. Oh my God. We don't have them just laying around. Uh, yeah. Read your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin, thank you. Thank you, guys. We got to take a chance. break. It's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Welcome yeah, back to the I mean, Opie and Anthony show. Opie was uh, making a piddle, and he is now returning to his seat. Anthony is here, and I am fighting the urge to stab Eric. Why? What happened with Eric? Because my camera's a 12 megapixel camera. Yeah. The picture of me in the Stone Cold. Yeah. Came out with little ridges around us. Yeah. But sometimes that will happen on a really high resolution picture until you blow it up. It doesn't look right. Right. Um. So I have a little teeny card read, a little teeny four, uh, four gigabyte card. Yep. So I say that I want to, uh, oh, four megabyte car, whatever it is. There's it's a, a gig. Of, That's a lot of megabytes. Four gigs. So I hand it to Eric. I want to look at it on a computer screen, and I say, uh, I want to look at this on a computer screen. I need a card reader. Mm-hmm. Um, and he goes, well, there's one on my computer. And I'm like, are you sure this will fit? He goes, yeah, it's universal. So we push it in, but it's just kind of jammed in there now. Oh, so boy. So I am telling you that that's got to come out oh, breaking boy. the laptop. It's the just letting you know. Oh, boy. That's it. I asked first. I didn't just jam it in there. Data corrupted. He, I, I, I foresee a data corrupted message when you pop yeah. the card in, which means all of it is right. gone. Well, there that, w- that had better come out. Why would you tell oh, me to put that in there oh without checking? God. Yeah. How do you just shove it in there? The only way to uh, know is, is to put it in. How do you it's check? universal. Right. But it's like yeah, it's but there's terrible. like when it, usually a Universal one's got a couple of slots in it. Oh man, All right, they're working on that. I knew that this was. Hold on, I don't want to lose oh, Jenny. Jimmy hates losing his pictures. Yeah. Well, oh, well, before Hi, we Jenny. get off the air, we'll get an update on that. But Jenny's been waiting an hour. Uh, she's not happy with us. Jenny, what's, what's up? Hi. Hi, Jenny. Can I help you? Yeah, Jenny, go what's ahead. The problem, Jenny. 
Hi. Um, I was listening to you guys on my way to work this morning, and I have to tell you, I'm really pissed off. What happened? Um, your uh, nice little conversation there about Jews kind of made me mad. What, oh, what, what did we say? Uh, a lot of stuff that sounded really anti-Semitic to me. Not okay. How'd you First feel? of all, I'm a Jew. Hold on, Rich. How'd you, feel, how'd you feel about the Walt Disney uh, beginning to that conversation? I think the whole conversation was totally unacceptable. Did you think it was unacceptable that we were sarcastically addressing Walt Disney's anti-Semitism? I, I, if it was sarcastic, cool. Yes, it was. So I'm saying, do you think it's inappropriate that we were sarcastically addressing Mm -hmm. Walt Disney's, because here's how it started, if you were paying attention instead of knee-jerk reacting. I didn't know Walt Disney was anti-Semitic. I had no idea. So when they said he was, we started to make fun of that. And that's, they were saying that's why there's not a lot of Jewish themes at Disney. So we use humor like that. I I don't care about Walt Disney. Miss, we were parodying the fact that he was a racist. So now I'm explaining what we were doing, and you're still being argumentative. Yeah, because you let some loser on the air that that said that Jews killed the only son of God. That's not that's not cool. We're allowing you equal time. Oh, we it's don't caller, know what yeah. say. He was a caller. Callers get, uh, you know, it's an open forum here on our show, so if he wants to say something stupid, then you could come back and rebut. Yeah. Which you are doing now. We so are allowing you airtime. You're being heard too. So, and but, but don't call the radio chan- anti Semitic because the guy was a caller. I'm a Jew and I was here laughing at exactly what they were saying because they were trying to make a point. Do you understand? So, if you don't listen to the whole thing, you're just jumping in and calling them anti Semitic, and they're really not. Anthony is a little, but not, not yeah, enough. Just a little bit. So, what's the problem? Is we've explained to you what it was. You heard something, you thought it was something that it was not. Now we've told you what it was. The point is, is that sar- even sarcastic anti- anti-Semitism is still anti-Semitism, and it's still not cool. Uh, uh, no, we'll miss. No, no. And, and, and you know what? I am Jewish. I am really offended by Okay, I have a question for you. I love, no, I uh, love 92.3 K-Rock. Who? I listen to it every single day. Every so day. stop listening to it. No, no, no. I have a serious question for you. As a Jew, as a Jew, hold on. Have you called Columbia University and complained about their speaker Monday? Have you complained about that? Have I you? I don't even know about the speaker. Of course. Monday. Okay. Well, well, the the president of Iran is speaking at Columbia Monday. Don't you think maybe you should focus your attention on anti-Semitism towards Columbia University for letting him speak there? Not a comedy show. There's, a, a, Jew, there's a man who seriously <laughs> talked about how the Holocaust didn't happen. <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably come we just about explained that. to you what it was. We just explained to you, and you're so bent on being self-righteously indignant that you're so, even in sarcasm, anti-Semitism. No, addressing somebody. Walt Disney was anti-Jewish, which right. we didn't know. We made fun of that fact. We were goofing on Disney, and the fact that that's bothering you even after the explanation is why I really don't care if I ever offend people because it's fraudulent. You want to be outraged. Yeah. And you want to be angry. And even when a logical explanation is given to you, you're still just outraged. Don't you understand the difference between comedy and like anti-Semitism yeah, and hate speech? I mean, I understand comedy, but it's things like it's. It's things like sarcastic anti-Semitism that make people think that it's okay to continue it. No, it's no, not. It's not. not. It's, no, it's, no, it's not. not. It's just comedy. No, it's, it's not. not. It's it comedy. Make people think anything. It's it's people like the president of Iran speaking at a college yeah. and then going back to his country and giving speeches about how Israel doesn't deserve to uh, be there and uh, will wipe him off the face of the planet. Well, then he's an asshole too. Well, well really? too, but really he's stupid. but he's serious. And we are making a sarcastic light of Walt Disney's uh, anti-Semitism by using his amusement park and the rides in sort of a funny way. And you, you don't see that, any difference in those two things? It's not funny. It's it is funny. Not, not, maybe not to you. Anti-Semitism, oh, sh- any form of sarcastic or not, is not funny. Maybe to you. So Maybe to you it's not. It's very funny to a lot of other people. It was funny to me. I, was, I haven't laughed that hard in a while. Everybody, this Jew was laughing his ass off. I, I'm yeah. telling you. Listen to me. Here's the thing. You, here's the thing. No, listen. Oh shut boy. up. You talk too much. Here's the, here's the thing. Things. All right. Great. What I'm saying is comedy is always going to offend somebody. Yeah. Whatever type of comedy. 
call Columbia, go there and protest. If you want to be a, a proud Jew or if you want to if you want to speak out, go to Columbia University because this is comedy and that's real. Do you that's like the, the real? Deal. Do you like the Opie and Anthony show? Uh, I used to until today. Then you know what? Oh, Don't my listen God. to it anymore. Good. Wait, You're it takes one oh. one stupid thing we do to offend you, and now you don't like us anymore. So when we we goof on black people, or even when I I oh. self oh, self deprecatingly goof on Italians. This is this is why I married. I didn't marry a Jew. I could I could not. This put is up anybody with this. though. This is anybody right. who is. Just you, you just what you are is this. You're a self righteous hen who wants to peck away at somebody who's just saying something that you find a little objectionable. And even after we gave you the explanation, and you know we're telling you the truth, you're just using your outrage at other things and, and focusing on us. Are you hot? Oh, fuck you. Ashy <laughs> 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 curse. Uh, you. You know what you are? You're an annoying. <laughs> you're an annoying, henpecking <laughs> bitch. Hit a pole. Wouldn't that be uh, a normal uh, question? Are you yeah, hot though? Absolutely. Are you hot? Ask you. Mind. You can't. You can't be nice to people. Hey, no. We're in the middle of a speed round. Rich Boss live at Bananas in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, tickets available by calling 201-727-1090. All right. Uh, God, was she frustrating? Also, uh, Boy, vey. We want to thank Direct TV. They do the football picks every week. Yes. Or they give us money for the no. football. No. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, Pat from Monaki. Now i got to uh, erase that from everyone's <laughs> mind. Uh, Pat, come in here for a second. Oh, God, am I annoyed. I know. It's, she annoyed me so much dude, that I just I got, messed up something really badly. Oh, that was game. really bad. Really bad. It's I'm sorry even, about that. I would, I'd like to wow. punch her you, in the face. Well, yeah. Yes, I would I'm like gonna, to. Now you're mouthy. Get, now you're going to get now after us. Good. Let them come after me. She probably hits harder than I do. Nah. Screw now, too. They suck. I know. I, know. I finally... Please. I finally realized why Pat from Monaki, who's sitting on the couch, Hi. Is Hi, nice. who's dirt poor, living in a trailer that's falling apart. You I, know, what, you I need a TV delivered to my brother, Scott, and his family, his uh -huh. lovely family, way out east on Long Island. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to Kenny, you know what? I, I think Pat could use a few bucks, Pat Ooh, from Monaki, and he's got a business wow. where he moves stuff, right? That's something. He's got a van. So, I deliver. So Kenny calls up Pat. And ask him how much he would charge. Hear me out here. Mm -hmm. To first of all, move the TV out of my apartment, which is huge. It's this huge old older TV. Projection TV. Right, right. It's huge. Get it into his crappy van, and drive it a hundred miles one way, and then a hundred miles back to his trailer that's falling apart. How much would you would you would you guess Pat uh, quoted me to do this job for me? Hundred miles there, hundred miles, 100 miles there. back. Hundred miles back. Let me think. Gas. Why hundred miles expensive. each way? He's got to take Tolls. the TV. He's got to come home. Tolls. He's not moving. Tolls. In with his brother. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The TV. Mm -hmm. My brother lives about a hundred miles from uh, where we're sitting right now. I would charge you about three hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, easily. Plus gas or something, right? No, that that's like total. Total. Okay. Three hundred and fifty bucks. Pat, how much did you uh, quote me? Uh. Hundred bucks. A <laughs> hundred bucks. <laughs> what are you, fourteen? <laughs> fourteen. Yeah. Oh, a hundred bucks is from baseball cards. A <laughs> hundred bucks. His van. His van is never again. That's where you set up. You bought somebody lunch. <laughs> all, right. all right. All right. Now we'll give you a hundred and five because that was semi funny. A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. That's why your business sucks. Your your van gets like seven miles per gallon. You're going a hundred miles each way. What is oh, wrong with you? Pat. I might have he actually, calculated the. Uh, I, uh, I, I figured quickly in my head that he would probably lose money doing yeah. this job for me. Is that why you in always the end. To, is that why you always nah. have to pay for your hamburgers on Tuesday? Nah, it's like fifty <laughs> bucks for a, a tank of gas. <laughs> So fifty bucks. So instantly, there's $50. like a half is gone. So, so it's so fifty bucks. You're $50. So then the time. Now, how long does it take to drive from Manhattan all the way out east yeah, to Long Island? To uh, about two hundred miles. It'll be a hundred miles. It would probably take uh, two, two hours, two to two and a half hours. Two. Let's say two and a half hours. Right. So it's a it's a five hour day plus loading it. Yes. Yeah, it's it. Five hour day. He's got to hire somebody. You can't lift it by himself. I'm just thinking hour wise here. It's how much do you think you're making an hour? Uh, I didn't run the figures. <laughs> uh, you don't run anything. <laughs> Mexicans are laughing at you. I didn't waddle the figures. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got. I go look. 
I'll, I now I feel bad because you said I'm gonna have to go with what Ann said because I said look I'll give him I'll give him two hundred dollars cash I'll give him a dinner at uh, my brother's restaurant because Tom's listening that's today he, he freaks out if we mention where is that we, restaurant anyway? I, I can't say because Tom freaks out he's ready to uh. turn me upside down and, and shake change out of my pockets because uh. I mentioned my brother's uh, restaurant every once in a while God forbid can I mention where it is because I want to go and eat no no just leave it alone for now uh. Uh, and uh, and uh, yeah and and dinner at my brother's restaurant plus a nice tip on the other uh, when Ooh. when you drop it off to my brother that's nice he uh, he quoted me a hundred dollars for everything uh, <laughs> he's a bad businessman and so are you hundred no two hundred <laughs> it's not that I feel bad believe it or not I mean I'm not. Uh, in defense to Pat, though, just to show what a nice guy he was, he originally offered to do it for nothing. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He would go. do it for free. Yeah. Just make sure you hide your dentures. <laughs> <laughs> but, Pat, I mean, come on. We're trying to get your business going oh, okay. a little bit. You need yeah. a little cash in your pocket. Well, yeah. You're doing me a favor. All right. Uh, really fast. My brother uh, made his uh, football picks. Ooh. Yeah, the football picks are sponsored by Dish Network. It's time to get more TV from your TV. Sign up for Dish Network today. Uh, my brother's picking the Giants over the Redskins. The Jets over the Dolphins. Vikings over the Chiefs. St. Louis Rams over the Buccaneers. The Broncos over the Jaguars. Seattle Seahawks over the Bengals. And uh, what's up, Cleveland? Browns over the Oakland Raiders. I want to thank uh, Dish Network for the football picks and the cash there, giving up every week to the winner. All right? Right. Sorry we rushed that at the end, but we got really busy at the end of the show there at Dish Network. All right, uh, Pat, don't break that TV or I'll oh, kill you. no problem. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> I love it. I hope it costs you thousands. <laughs> Can you call? Yeah. On the second half of the show, could you call sure. and tell us how it's going? Yeah. All right. I'll use up my minutes. All right. Yeah, there you go. I'll pay for the phone calls, okay? okay. Uh, Rich Boss, Bananas, Hasbrook Heights, tonight and tomorrow night. Thank you, Rich. Cool. That's right by me. Yeah? Hey, I'll come tonight. Really? I'm going to let you in free since you're only making 100 bucks today. Oh, well, thank you. And, and, and we're finished. We're Miss Pal Talk coming up. Yeah, that'll, uh, yes. that'll be on the show as we continue on XM Satellite Radio. Have a good day. Get infected. Uh, Showtime thing. He's going on and on about how hit. All right, we're on the air, uh, Otto. It's Opie and Anthony uh, on XM uh, Satellite Radio. Otto and George in studio. Stephen S. from Bayshore. Otto's hair always makes him look surprised. <laughs> Stephen Bayshore? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I comb it with a pack of firecrackers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking right now. I'm yeah. There's one girl there. She's like, she's got glasses. CD Dragon Lever, whatever the fuck her name is, man. She's got like a fat little pussy. Yeah, Miss Pal Talk. The contest has begun. Uh, most of the women uh, taking a very conservative approach. They just dolly themselves up, a little makeup, uh, some sexy outfits, and they're just kind of sitting there and kind of, kind of the the race has begun. You know, they're all kind of jockeying for positions. And uh, however, you do have the one Jimmy's talking about, who's uh, completely naked with her legs spread open, and you're just getting a gas shot. I like you could that. Smell that horrible bush. Uh, the and that's <laughs> um, oh. that's live, huh? And I see one fat mess who's going to win nothing. And what is? <laughs> well, let me just in front of you. Let me just say this. Audio. What is that thing doing in our contest? That thing right oh, over there. Boy. Which one? Yeah, there are there are kind of a few that are not a few. There's there's a the, thing. Oof. <laughs> that thinks she is worthy of the Miss Pal Talk contest that has begun. This yeah. is happening right now that's live there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're looking. Uh, oh. Flight benefits looks good, man. Mm. God damn. Yeah, flight benefits is uh, is topless and making her bed. What's I guess that's, that's the talent portion of the uh, <laughs> the contest. The talent portion, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of uh, trying to find. It's hard to sift through and find the ladies and not find guys uh, jerking off. Because mm -hmm. a lot of jackers... Wow. A lot of well, jackers are hitting the uh, scene here. Jody looks very cute with her hair like that. You know who she reminds me of? The girl from the, uh, from, uh, oh my God, from the ring, who was getting out of the tub this, this, with, the, with the hair in her face. She looks really? Like, yeah, it's, oh. I like the hair. It's really it's cute like that. It hangs down long. Looks nice. Jody, <laughs> Jody's got great red hair. Yeah. Oh, is it red? Yeah. Oh, nice. Jody looks like my older sister if 
She was younger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of creepy looking at Jody cuz it, it remind me of my older sister when she was younger. I'm not I'm not slamming Jody whatsoever. They're talking I think smack. She, there's that thing. Flight benefits. What is that thing doing in the contest? Flight benefits just said Jody looks like a muppet. <laughs> she doesn't look like a muppet. <laughs> Where's flight benefits? <laughs> well, all right. Oh, she's really sexy, man. The talent point. Hold on. She's hold got her on, shirt on. Flight on. Benefits is topless and a little boy shorts on. Who put flight benefits right next to that thing? What are you? Oh, you're talking about. Does no, no, start? no. I don't even. Don't, just keep it at the thing. Wait, wait. Let me see. You're going to wreck my bit. Oh, look at that. All right. Please hold don't on. Don't wreck my bit. Hold on. Is it. Well, who. Like, come on. All right. Like, I'm just. That, was a doubt. I'm just. Confirming because I don't know if there's something that could be worse. Two weeks. Do, do we have a uh, two weeks? Weeks. Do we have a uh, two weeks? Do we have a runner-up prize for the the hideous girl on Pal Talk today? All right, now the competition has uh, really, really uh, gone to the next level. Uh, Deliver us from Eva has decided to go completely top topless, and she's just wearing panties at her uh, computer. Hey, what's that girl's name? Uh, a a with the something dragon lover. Co-dragon. A co-dragon lover. Are you alive? She's just like this this sleepy apparition in the back. She's not <laughs> responding at all. I don't I don't think she's even paying attention to what we're saying. She thinks her moose knuckle is good enough to win the competition. She might be right. Yeah. Who's that? The naked one? Yeah, with the fucking she's, See, just she's hanging in the back. Kinda... She looks like Joe Dirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like someone else is laying there naked, and she's just poking her head up through the bed. <laughs> I, I don't even believe she's really that. there. It's a carnival thing. Right? Yeah. She's in, I'm ready to give birth position. Great. Yeah. The camera zoomed in, though, miss. You have it too far away. This oh. one's cute right here. That one. With yeah, that's hair. that's uh, Lil, that's Lil Jody. There was a girl in Camden that was so cute that came up to the, uh, Lizzie. I hope she's on here. Yeah. She was really pretty. A little blonde well, we got, girl. We got $500 up for grabs. Dave's, uh, Eastside Dave's wife is, uh, looks like a couch. She's not there. Oh. She's not on camera. That might be a strategic move. I don't know. Maybe she's, she's got some okay. plan. Who's she the bottom right-hand corner? Open her butt cheeks and just skip by the camera real quick. <laughs> the bottom right-hand corner. She's a movie right? star. Is that an advertisement for Barfly or something? <laughs> she was, Shut up. She's a movie Red. star. <laughs> she was in Total Recall. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, really? Where is she from China? <laughs> Two weeks. And, uh, yes, deliver us from Eva. She's got her glow stick out. That's her bit. Don't, don't yep. take her bit away from her. She's I the see glow her stick bit. Wonder. She's a real movie star? And, uh, no, would you shut up? Oh, well, now they're trash talking each other. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to talk some Flight smack. Benefits writes, uh, Jody is a pussy. Hmm. <laughs> What is that thing going to do? Why are you even trying? Yeah. Oh. All right. Get naked. <laughs> now they're talking smack. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of things to do as uh, as the girls do their Miss Pal Talk thing here. What do they, what do they win, anyway? $500. This is a daily thing? Nah, maybe. Nah, we're just uh, screwing around mm. here with this today. And of course, Marissa is just sitting there being merely adorable. And yeah. The naked one, uh, we she if she doesn't win, we'll power wash her for free. <laughs> Start bouncing the fatties. Is that the? <laughs> no. <laughs> is that the? Yeah, we should suggestion do. Why don't we do Survivor uh, rules here? <laughs> Every like fifteen minutes, we just you know get rid of one. How many girls we got in the competition officially? I said officially. The one there with the dildo looks like John Valdi. I like her. She looks like fucking. She looks like Doctor Dirty. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's 15 girls officially. Well, the, well, funny. actually, this, yeah. we got 15 cams up right now, and 14 are officially in the contest. <laughs> uh, bounce elimination. Why did yeah, let's play a little game. All right. All the women are listening right now. We got we got four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Who wants the who wants to guess who the thing is? If you think you're the thing, turn off your cam. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you're the thing, turn, turn off, off your cam. cam. <laughs> See what kind of confidence uh, these ladies have. Oh my god, this should have taken a half a second. <laughs> of course it should have. A half a second. Casey? Uh, 
All right. No, stop. Wow, who Why turned off the cute camera? girls turn off their <laughs> who camera? Who turned off the camera? <laughs> They're being smarty pantses. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. All right, turn your cameras back on. Turn it back on. <laughs> Even you, the creature, leave yours on. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, hey, uh, we, we got some techno remixes coming in. We got two new ones today. We got Renee with another installment of what she thinks is funny. What do you want to yeah. do? What do you want to do? We got to do something before oh. we get the rock on the on the show. Uh, we'll let the well, ladies just kind of do their thing for a while, and yeah. when something is very noticeable, we're we'll, looking. we'll break in and we'll we're tell looking. you what's going on. Yeah. It's uh, the first uh, Miss Pal Talk contest, thanks to Pal Talk. $500 up for grabs. Love Pal Talk, but I think they were a little uh, cheap on the price. Got to be honest. Oh, Got to be honest with everybody here. I was trying to get more, uh, more money for the women. <laughs> what happened to all the cameras? They all went out. Did they all? Yeah, something went. What? Mine are, mine are freezing. Still on. How many people? Are there a good amount of people in the room? Oh, they're freezing up because uh, over, over a thousand. <laughs> Wait, you mean like guys want to look at naked women? What? All right, the cameras are back. There you go. That fucking flight benefits. I want someone for the comedy, like for the uh, talent competition, just to like fire a nice log onto a cracker, <laughs> but not sideways, like stand it up like a silo. Yeah. All right, here we go. Nothing. Uh, not really. <laughs> We're too busy uh, trying to figure out who's going to win this thing. All right. Ah, uh, we got no, we have two techno remixes. Why don't we get these out of the way, Ant? And then techno we'll, remixes. And then we'll talk to the Rock. Then we'll talk to Renee about what she thinks is funny. It's a new bit that started yesterday. And then. Uh, Keep burping here. Oh, and then uh, we're going to do Than, a uh, sitcom. We're going to check out one of the latest sitcoms this fall. Oh, I love that when he pulls off the, just the hysterical things that are in uh, sitcoms. Right. Uh, you want to set up the techno thing? The other day we were goofing on one of the channels on XM. Forgot the channel. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Just play techno music. Yeah. I don't know, BPM. BPM? Yeah. BPM. BPM. Talk to Chris Cox. He's my car. He's the king of that. Yeah. He's the king of that channel. And we decided to start doing our own remixes, and, mm -hmm. and did a great one with fart sounds and us, us by uh, Master Post. And now the listeners are starting to, you know, send theirs in. So far, yep. the best one I think is Drew Boogie. Yeah, we're gonna have to spend like twenty minutes on all of them one of these days, maybe next week. But uh, Rob G came up with this one today. Dance to this. You know what? The first time I heard it, I didn't like it. The second time, it's not that bad. That's, it's uh, too much like it, a real uh, techno song. Yeah. Well, oh, God But it has all jackers. the show references in there. Uh, Rob G., thank you for sending that one in. What, you got jackers looking uh, at the girls? Yeah, well, I... Uh, I went to look at a camera, see, because I'm trying to look for girls, and I found a jacker. So he's got to go. Why? That's what he should be doing in there. Why? Having fun. Yeah, let the let the guys jack today. Can Jesus, you see guys doing it. Yeah, just Do let they the show guys themselves jack today. doing it. Oh yeah, they they're on camera just jacking. Yeah, yes, well, you know. overtly faggot <laughs> question. 
Oh, How boy. How do you get one of these pal talk things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The thing will not get the hint. Come on, open the legs again, the one sexy one. All right. That, well, she she was sick of opening her legs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What happened? What happened? And then we got another one that came in, Anthony. Um, uh, I think Danny is saying this is the better of the two that came in. Another techno remix as we check out the girls from Pal Talk. It's the Miss Pal Talk contest for five hundred dollars. But uh, first, we got Tom from Westbury who came up with uh, Tom this, from where? Uh, Westbury. Oh. Oh, uh, Westbury. <laughs> Westbury. 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 Uh, of course, Techno Remix using a lot of show references. <laughs> you just been cloned. Damn. Damn. You just been cloned. Damn. You just been pwned. <laughs> Pretty cool. Very there you go. Tom right. from Westbury. Well, pretty good job. That's when I was getting bored with it. He came up with that Jimmy thing in the middle yeah. there. Very, very good. Uh, we got somebody. Uh, uh, where did it go? Hold on a minute. What's up, Otto? Yeah, what's up? You're, you're Hello. Good? You good? Yeah. <laughs> I can't right. stop looking at Otto's toes. Really? Because he's wearing mob. You're not seeing your toes. And Otto does have good feet. Yeah, they're not for, bad. On the left big toe, yeah. there's a callus. Yeah, it's horrible. I can't do anything with that. How, how, do, you, how do you walk? <laughs> well, how about getting orthotics? What, what do you mean? What's Why that? are you walking? Either your shoes are too tight. Yeah. What Do you, do you like take your shoes and duct tape the, the toe area? <laughs> I've been, no, <laughs> I, make it real I'm tight. a big walker my whole life, but that callus is brutal, right? Yeah, it's a big callus. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch yeah. of pop it or something. Your whole life you've been walking? It's not a... Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Save it down or something. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, put a hat You're on You're creeping it. us all out, man. Really? Yeah, uh, you know, when Norton gets me, he went to the podiatrist one time, and now he's a foot expert. Like I've been to the podiatrist many times. Yeah. Why would you many go times. to a foot doctor that many times? What? What could possibly be wrong with your feet? You haven't even heard the latest. I one. had. Uh, an Have I you ever had your feet dipped into hot oil? Hot wax. Oh no, hot wax. Why would you hot possibly wax? put your feet in hot wax? I'll, I'll you explain. really think you're a big celebrity? You're out of your mind. Well, I'll explain. It. <laughs> well, I'll it kind of is a big. Celebrity. I injured my I feet know, twice. twice. All right. <laughs> I, I, I twisted my ankle horribly. Yeah, a foot had thing had on his shit. foot. Yeah. yeah. So I had to get Remember? orthotics made, but she dips it in hot wax. It's a heating treatment because what happens is uh, it, sh it it heals you like on a vascular level. It's it's good yeah. heat heat treatment. They use it for arthritis too. It's right. a very uh, common treatment uh, amongst fancier people. Oh really? No, it's it's nice. It's not a, it's not a to melt wax on your feet. Yeah, it's, it, you dip I did that foot. in camp with bottles. Yes, right. except it was your mouth melting on a cock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, enough of that for now because we got a big star on the phone. Oh. But first, Jeff M. from Halifax. Please, I missed it earlier. Is Tom alive? I need to know for my own sanity. Oh. Oh, boy. Jeff didn't hear. Oh. Jeff didn't hear. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to The Rock. Dwayne. Hey. How are you, sir? There he is. How you doing? Good. How you doing, How you? Mr. Rock, sir? Mm. It's Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. What's going on, buddy? All is great, man. All is great. Guys, uh, big, I think, big movie star now. I think you're always hesitant uh, when you call our show. <laughs> <laughs> I was just listening. I was laughing my ass off. Cause you were laughing because you're like, what the hell are they doing? Uh, and I, I was like, what? Oh, XM. Yes. Now I get it. Oh, yeah, because all the Fox and the shits. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like an R-rated movie. I noticed they're billing you now. Like I saw in, here in New York on, on the side of the... Um, 
they had a poster for your movie, and they said Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Are you asking them to do that, or do they want to put your name uh, surrounding the Rock? Um, no, it just it kind of happened just naturally. But uh, you know, and then the next couple of movies, I got a movie coming out called Southland Tales, and I did another comedy with Steve Carell uh, called Get Smart, and in both those, I'm just being billed as Dwayne Johnson too. <laughs> Okay, I guess uh -huh. everybody knows no, by it, now. It was nothing that the studio came to me and said, hey, you know, can we use your other name? And it was like, well, it's, it, it just kind of happened naturally. Hey, uh, speaking of uh, The Rock, uh, Vince didn't make you, like, stop using that? No, no, he didn't. When oh, because you're out, still like, in with uh, wrestling, I guess, right? What's that? Well, because you, you're still on good terms. Because if you leave the WWE, like, Vince takes your name away from you so you can't promote yourself after you leave wrestling. Yeah, t typically it is like that. But, you know, i got to say i got a great relationship with the old man. And we, yeah. uh, I, four or five years ago, um, when I decided to get out of wrestling, quietly retire, um, he was great about it. And, uh, you know, again, I think it goes back because my grandfather wrestled for his old man. And my dad mm -hmm. wrestled for him too, so you know there was a yeah. long-standing relationship there. So no, he just shook your my father's hand. Said, trucks. You know, take the name, man. It's <laughs> good. You burned it. Well, you also made uh, Vince a lot of money, man. I mean, we just yeah. had one of your enemies in here, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Yeah, I, be, I mean, between you and him back in the day, man, you you guys made Vince a lot of cash. We that was the heyday, coin, man. Back then, and that was the heyday for us. Yeah, working with Steve. Steve was great because he, you know, it was just. My character and his was just complete opposites. Yeah. So it was, it, was, it was always made for a lot of fun, especially on TV. Who, who won your match? I, I don't really watch wrestling. Uh, who, who won your matches together? Um, uh, probably he did, because every time I would face him, I was a bad guy. Right. So he was, he, you know, it was my job to, you know, try and, like, talk as much trash as I possibly could. Oh, you'd beat him on the mic, though. And That's he, for sure. No one has the had the mic technique it's a nice uh, that trade. Dwayne had. On the mic, you beat me in the ring. Uh, yeah. I I uh, heard from a lot of guys that when you came up, you know into the ring and did your thing in front of the crowd, that everyone had to watch and and see what you were going to come up with. I mean, was a lot of that stuff off the cuff? Um. Yeah. Well, you got to. Well, you get. I had bullet points going in, but you know, sure. every town is different. So when you uh, when you go to uh, you know any city, like say if you're at the Garden. In New York, you know, that crowd is a lot different, so you can have an idea of what you're going to say, but you just listen to the fans, and, and they'll direct you, I always believe, like in the audience, in, 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 in the way you want to go. So yeah, some, really of your, some of your speeches, you would uh, the, the wrestlers would break character because they would just start laughing in the ring, like, oh, my yeah, that's God. That's hysterical. That one, People started that laughing. That funny, man. <laughs> that was my goal, by the way. I used to try and crack up all the guys, like from <laughs> yeah. even Steve Austin, Kane, everybody. I didn't care. Uh, and it's important too, especially in wrestling, you know, because everybody has a tendency just to want to be loud and and big. Uh, but I thought it was always important just to add comedy in it, right? Because you know it can be it's it's absurd a lot of the times. You know the things that you're trying to say and do to these guys. So. Uh, yeah, I didn't know how you didn't laugh on some of those. Like the backstage uh, interviews were always funny because the the guy that was holding the mic would always be laughing <laughs> oh, at whatever great. you're saying. Well, those guys, those interviews backstage, that's when it's free reign on those guys. That's when it yeah. can do anything. And I would take my T-shirt, I'd put it on them, I'd make them, like, take his pants Yeah, cover your, cover your head. You'd tell them to cover their heads, so, yeah, and he'd the, take the, his the, shirt the, off and put it over his head. It's for the fans at home, so you need to cover that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 that is smart ass. Were a lot of the guys jealous of you? Um, I don't know. No. I mean, I, well, not not that they showed at least. Yeah, because you know, I mean, you with guys... me, I would always tell guys though. I would always tell them like before we went out, like this, just to give you guys an idea of what I would say. I would always run it down for them, and I would I would always rehearse in front of them just so they could hear it. And I and I would say, you know, a lot of times, you know, I'll go off on a cuff on the, on the cuff, and I'll go off in a different direction, and I always tell the guys. You know, don't worry, I'll always come back to the point I'm trying to make. And I said, and you guys feel free to ad-lib. I said, if something comes across hmm. and you feel like saying it, man, say it. It's a live mic and say it. So, right. I, you know, I gave them that kind of freedom. Most of them didn't say, you know, like, uh, go off the cuff or anything like that or ad-lib. They kind of stuck to the script. But if mm -hmm. you encourage that with those guys, it's, it's always a lot easier, you know. And then they feel more comfortable. It was so obvious that you were uh, going to go on to bigger and better things. I remember, and I, this is when we would start, you know, we're watching wrestling. And even if I didn't feel like watching wrestling that week, I would always make sure, all right, we got to see what The Rock says this week. And then you would do your thing, and then I would move on to other TV or whatever. But you had everyone paying attention. What was your favorite catchphrase? Favorite catchphrase was probably, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. 
That was a yeah. Favorite. Oh, that was a, yeah, that was a great one. Because you just somebody you know, start you could talking say to anybody, and like right. I would walk in, we'd walk in the buildings, and say, for example, like I'd walk in the garden, and I would say, you know, let's put a security guard here asking for my autograph. And they would do that, and then, hey, what's your name? Oh, my name. Ah, it doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, but how's the parents, jump to I acting? Got parents coming up to me and saying, God, you know, my kid, it's funny, but my kid's telling me that. Like, you know, right. hey, Daddy, how do you like that? Well, ah, it doesn't matter how you like it. You know what I said? Well, Anthony t uh, taught us all this. Screw the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough. Uh, I liked uh, uh, Rudy Poo candy asses. Rudy Poo, yeah. What, what is that, by the way? <laughs> yeah, who I don't knows? Know. I don't know, but it got through. What uh, the, the jump to acting? Like, uh, do you, like, how is it, man? I know it's kind of like an ignorant novice question, but it is a huge no, jump. Yeah, from it, 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 it was hard. It was really, really hard. And I remember, um, you know, probably about the first time we we started talking, like two thousand, two thousand one. Um, I was trying to make that transition. But uh, oddly enough, it's just funny, man. You know, if you're if you're successful in, in in something in another arena, and you try and make a jump, especially into movies, people have a tendency to say, "Ah, he's just trying to cash in on his fame, and he's gonna he's gonna make movies that are shitty." But uh, so that the transition was was difficult at first. But then you just have to you have to realize that, and then then it was important for me not to just take action roles. It was important to me to take other roles, like like a role in Be Cool. Or, mm -hmm. uh, or 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 another comedy, just to break it up and make sure that uh, you know you don't get typecast. This, yeah. Now this is uh, Rich Voss uh, from Last Comic Standing. Uh, <laughs> he, <laughs> Jesus, he doesn't know you. Oh. He and Rich even knew that because he didn't even pause, yeah. hoping uh, for that. Oh, oh, Rich, hi! I didn't know you were there. Hey, well, How did you on the show? Uh, the first season I came in uh, third place. The third season I came in fourth out of twenty. Uh, but I carried the uh, show the first season. Uh, By the way, here's how you know you're you're a nobody is the fact that you had to say Rich Voss from. He doesn't say hi. I'm the Rock from wrestling. I'm the right. He, he just he's, says, he's hi. just the yeah, Rock. I never said I was a somebody. See, when you get up to but, his level, you'll but, just you'll get to say, "Hey, I'm Rich Voss." Yeah, that's true. And, and everyone will be like, "Wow, well, Rich Voss." Uh, you're right. But uh, amongst the fans of the O and A show, they know who I am. Maybe but, Rock doesn't know Rich Voss. He does, but now he does. He, well, next he no, talks do. to me. Now he does. And he's going to forget yeah. as soon as this uh, yeah. calls over. Matter, but you know a, that. A question that for serious. <laughs> like, you'll see a lot of actors that go, I don't take acting lessons. It's natural. There's certain actors, and some do it and don't. Do you, do you uh, take acting lessons, and how, mu how many times? <laughs> yeah, do you take acting lessons? Acting lessons. According to Voss. <laughs> acting lessons. No, I, I, this has been a morning of, like, uh, you know, past wrestlers just laughing at you. Yeah. You know that, right? That's okay. I, I really enjoyed the remake of Walking Tall. This is Otto Peterson from the Joe Franklin show in Wonderama. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderama. <laughs> now, I thought the Walking Tall uh, movie was great. I, I wanted to hate it because I, I, I'm against remakes in general, but it was really good. He won me over. It was great. Uh, I, I you should do more that. movies we're, like that. We're lucky. We were really lucky with that movie. Because that's one of those. That's a that's a tough movie to remake. You got to really be careful, especially you know. With oh that. yeah, it's one of my favorite yeah. films of the seventies. It was great, just cracking heads off with a big <laughs> stick. <It's> great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, this is uh, this is this is Jim Norton from Tough Crowd. Um, <laughs> do, do you have? Uh, uh, by the way, Colin Quinn said he met you and he claimed that you were a big fan of his. You're not, are you? Yeah, I met him. I think at the uh, at the uh, at um, uh, Conan O'Brien. Yeah, but he he kind of made it look like you really like looked up to him and thought he was terrific. Just please admit that you were being polite to an older gentleman. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was being very polite to an, uh, to a man in his seventies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Colin tried to act like him and The Rock had a real moment. He's like, oh, I was like, yeah, Dwayne, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dwayne and Russell. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think uh, I think uh, I think Rowdy Roddy Piper made like the first really good movie where it was a, a wrestler. Live. They live, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, that that was like a real cool movie. That was and, uh, John Carpenter directed that. Yeah, wow. yeah. After that, it kind of you know opened the door a little. I think because uh, it wasn't just you know okay, here's a wrestler. He's just gonna do wrestling moves the whole movie. Uh, it was kind of cool. I'm a big fan of Hulk uh, Hogan's uh, movie work myself. All right, I guess we can move on from. <laughs> he's, he's made a couple. Yeah, he was good as Thunderlips. I mean, Hulk was fine. Well, that's true. His first role like yeah. that was in, in Rocky. Was yeah, that, yeah, that was good. Hey, Dwayne, is there anybody like that you any type of role that you really want to play that they're not casting you as, or that like you don't think you're ready for yet? Um, 
No, not not now. But I, I, I will say that uh, you know, with the action scripts, I've been passing on a lot of action scripts, and especially uh, you know, with and only because of what Matt Damon was able to do with the Bourne series. Uh, you know, the yeah. movies are just badass all the way through, and the material that I'm getting, if it's not that elevated, if it's not that good, then I just don't want to do it, so I keep passing mm-hmm. them. But I'm, I'm sure there's other actors out there who'll take them. Uh, oh, no, what a great career. Sorry. The action, Sorry. like, for me, the action has got to be that, like, <laughs> that good. Would you, wanna, would, would you ever want to do, like, a like a, a, a weird role or uh, some kind of a, a soft drama? I mean, I know it's an odd question, but a lot of times guys no, get I, sick I, of the I, same... I know what you're saying. No, I, I think it just comes down to the, to the material. Uh, the last uh, drama or movie that had dramatic elements in it was Gridiron Gang for me, but I don't mm-hmm. have to. Like, I got to tell you, I'm not one of those actors. Like, I don't have to explore, like, my dark side and have to be, you know, like a, a psychopathic, uh, you know, on the verge of killing the whole family or, you know, <laughs> like, I, it's just not anything that interests me. I got enough drama in my life anyway. You know, hey, uh, Rock, this. This is Opie. I uh, I uh, hosted uh, XFL uh, <laughs> the pregame show, the pregame yeah. with my pal Anthony. Uh, why don't we talk about the new movie, The Game Plan? <laughs> game Plan, Game Plan, uh, big comedy uh, where I play pro quarterback. I patterned him after Joe Namath. Guy's just ridiculously arrogant and over the top. <laughs> and, uh, but at the same time, the, well, the cool thing about Joe uh, Namath was, uh, you know, everybody loved him. But yet he was yeah. just that, you know over the top and arrogant, but everybody loved him. So that's hard to that's hard when you try and strike that balance. And Is there a um, scene where you get hammered and start talking to a girl on the sidelines and telling and her uh, you I love her? Kiss you. <laughs> I want to kiss you. One of the greatest clips of uh, Broadway Joe ever. All could he have picked up? Could All he have picked an uglier right woman right? on the sidelines? By the way, <laughs> what's that? How much? How, how much drink did Joe have? I mean, he couldn't have picked an uglier woman. <laughs> Well, I think it was just Danny Broad. <laughs> he, he was good. cute, I think. I think Joe, Joe had might have been started in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, that was hilarious. That was really good. <laughs> Joe Namath was huge, though, man. Just huge. And so you patterned him after that. I and uh, after that, and, and then I get a knock on the door, and it's a little eight-year-old girl who says, I'm your daughter, and you're my daddy. Yay. And then oh, jeez. I jinx him, too. The, Chris Hansen I walks in and arrests you. <laughs> <laughs> right. goes, hey, this is Dateline up? NBC. <laughs> uh, what, well, okay, so now you got to deal with being like this arrogant uh, jock kind of guy, and, and now the daughter walks in. And d- let me guess, it ends all sweet. Oh, can't say that. I it bet is. it ends all sweet. <laughs> you can't tell and you become a happy. good dad. It is a, it's a happy <laughs> ending. <laughs> of course. Imagine it goes. It ends with a car going over a cliff. Yeah, <laughs> just throws yeah, everyone off. Dies. <laughs> just throws yeah, everyone that's off. That's or he just starts muling heroin and like leaves the movie like <laughs> some bizarre ending that nobody would. <laughs> Credits start rolling. You're like, what the Credits hell did I just say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where all the uh, parents and their kids have to walk out of the theater awkwardly. The kids are crying. Right. <laughs> You're tapping your Tell feet me, in an airport bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is uh, Rich. Yeah. Foss again from uh, Last Conversation and the oh, first white guy in Dunn Dam. Credit. How yeah. about this? Rick oh, Foss a from, new credit. Very Rick good. Foss from Evening at the Improv and Ed Sullivan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of punch-ups for movies. I just worked on a movie, a certain movie. I do punch-ups. Rich Foss, just remember, I'm good on the What's set. What's a punch-up? When you punch up stuff on the script or on the set where you sit on the set and you'll see some go, no, maybe you should do it this way. What have you punched up for? I, I don't want. I, I punch up. I don't because I don't. I punch up. Well, I worked on the Oscars writing, but I punch up. I worked. Make oh my God! Movie. I don't yeah. want you to need people to punch up your conversations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying, Voss, Vos. Impress the Rock. Tell him what you've punched off up. the air because the studio didn't hire me, so I'm oh, not used to no it. one will yeah. care. The studio didn't hire. Would you just sit there? Someone called you. Could you no, help me? I'm stuck. A, a he just celebrity. stood behind a fence and started yelling out suggestions <laughs> until he said, "Shut up!" Yeah, a fence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone quiet that ass. We're trying to film here. <laughs> hey, Dwayne, is is there anybody, any like particular actor that you really want to work with? Because uh, you're you kind of in a position to pick and choose what you want to do. Man, like, <clears throat> I think Clive Owen's great. He's badass. Uh, yeah. And I've always wanted to work with Steve Carell, and finally had a chance to work with him. Um, and you know who's really, really funny is is Alan Opie. Arkin. Opie. <coughs> yes. Opie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Arkin. Alan Arkin is hilarious. He's hilarious. Absolutely. So I you've agree. done something with him, or you want to? No, I did. He was in Get Smart with me. Okay. 
Yeah, he was great. Hilarious. Hilarious. So was Anne Hathaway. Wait, there's a Get great. Smart coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Starring Steve Carell and, and Dwayne's in it. And he said Alan Arkin's in it, too. That'll be out next oh, summer. Steve Carell. All right. Hey, um, I, I uh, was watching TMZ, and they caught you outside a hotel, like, saying, you make porn or something. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a kid there, and you had to go, oops. Is this something you do a lot? Or? <laughs> well, it is. Often I put my foot in my mouth. I, you know, that's where I, you try and be uh, funny and, and uh, break the monotony of the day. I came out, you know, and I was signing autographs out there at the, at the Trump, and then... Uh, uh, the guy was like, "Hey, what what kind of, what what are you working on next?" I was like, oh, "I'm gonna do a porn." Yeah. And then there's a little kid right behind me, and he's yeah. like, "Can I have your autograph?" I was like, "Oh, hey, take a picture." <laughs> yeah, the TMZ uh, they try to make it bigger than it really was. It was yeah, kind of really funny, was. actually. No. Yeah, no, I apologize. All right. I said, you didn't hear me. He's like, "No." So the worry. movie come. The movie comes out next Friday, which is September the 28th. But the special sneak previews in theaters are this Saturday. Uh, do you know if they're all over, or, or is it just in like select locations? No, they're all over the place. There's like a, okay. a, a thousand of them uh, all across the country. So, um, yeah, you just have to ch chuck your uh, your newspaper. All right, so uh, most major cities will probably have it. Yeah. Called the game oh, yeah. plan. The game plan with The Rock, yes. The game plan, boys. Good luck, man. Good luck with the movie and with all the acting stuff. It's nice to see that you're getting all this work. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, Moe. Thanks for having me on. All right, Dwayne. Thanks, man. The Rock. Yeah, man. Johnson, everyone. Hey. Thanks, Rock. There yeah, he man, goes. He's doing great. He was like, cool. Is Vin Diesel a black man? Is he black? <laughs> I, don't know. I, I think it was. Uh, he told me that he's black. I saw that movie, um, Find Me Guilty, where it's about the mob uh, testimony. It's like a true story. He was great in that. But then somebody told me he's 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 Negro. So that means he's Negro. <laughs> so, no, I mean it's amazing that he came off like uh, as an. Who Italian. told you? Who told you that Governor Wallace? <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear that? Somebody last? told me he was a Negro. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any rage? I think I he's got uh, like his father or something. Is that right? part, yeah, it, like he's got some uh, some African in yeah, him really? from somewhere. Yeah, that's what I heard. I liked uh, Pitch Black. You see that movie? No. I was on that plane. He's in that one. That was, was like his it, was first it movie. Was lit? Uh, yeah, it, it was very like, dark. It was dark, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's Van Diesel? The karate guy, right? The Van Diesel. Oh, my we God. Who Van yeah. Diesel is. Did you just say Van Diesel? <laughs> the karate guy. I liked guy, the right? ca classic actor, yeah. Vin Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vin, Vin. He was in Private Ryan. You got to see that movie called uh, Find Me Guilty. It's real good. Sidney Lumet movie. I don't know his movies. I, yeah. I learned yeah. that about you this uh, summer. Yeah, he does. On tour with you. Hey, can we play uh, Are You Smarter Than Rich Voss? We really want kids to call. Oh, I know. They're getting the questions yeah. together in the office. We got to play Are You Smarter Than Rich Voss? We'll today. do it next time. Not today, though. We got to build uh, it. Why? You got to study up? I think on Rock and I history? bonded. Yeah, I think so, too. Hey, uh, the Miss Pal Talk contest <laughs> is going on as all the uh, cams go away. What happened there? We're just. What are you doing, you fruit? I'm not even touching. Yeah, it's okay. getting all messed up. There's so many people in there. Uh, the cameras are slowly disappearing, as I mentioned. Look at that. They're all gone now. Yeah. And there they go. What happened? I don't know. We got five hundred dollars uh, up. Someone just red dotted, like my um, uh, some uh, someone from Paltalk, I think, just red dotted all the uh, cameras. What's that mean? Like made it so you can't see anything. Why? I don't know. I think someone didn't get the memo. Someone didn't get the memo. And they're like adminning the room because they were like nude girls. Yeah, the girls they're getting all upset. The girls were warming up, man. They started uh, breaking out their toys. Was that is we talking about as we were, we were talking to the Rock. Yeah, sorry, they were trying to help out because the room was getting so flooded with jackers. They were trying to bounce all the guys out. Oh, yeah. Wait, so they help out by turning off all the girls' cameras? That I don't know why. They missed. Yeah, yeah. They, how, they why would took they Took a do shot that? and missed. Well, all the girls' cameras are still there. What do they do in a bank gotta... robbery with the hostages? Just blow the whole building up? <laughs> <laughs> just leave the. Who gives a shit? If it's in Waco. Yeah, just, I'm not. I haven't seen one jacker. We can we can pay attention to yeah, uh, just the ladies. At, we got all the women up. We got to judge the Miss Pal Talk contest for five hundred dollars. I, right. I don't even know there's a jacker in the room. Who gives a shit? I'm I'm popping up uh, the girls' pictures. There you and go. If, it, if I pop up a jacker, I, I turn his camera off. That's all. Hmm. All right, Otto from uh, Otto and George. Where's George today? Is he sick? Um, I, I decided not to bring him today. I was yeah. Like, confident. Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck him. That means said Otto brought a hornet's nest on the side of his foot. A <laughs> <laughs> oh, hornet's nest. I have flaws. That means your. <laughs> that means your. That means your therapy's going well. Yeah. This is the first time you've appeared without George. You go solo. I, yeah, but I mean, usually I just. 
sit here holding him. Like a <laughs> yeah, for no reason whatsoever. Operation. It's weird. <laughs> it's like I, I took a new headshot recently, and I really just creeped out that I do that for a living. You know, just holding the doll, and I don't know. It just seemed more natural when I was a kid. Yeah. To have my picture taken with a dummy, but now I go look at me. I'm just weird. I'm a grown man, <laughs> yeah, and I'm holding this odd. fucking dummy. You're finally, to the point where you realize it's a bit creepy. It's disturbingly. <laughs> it's still weird. a good living, but now it's you're starting to realize it's odd, a bit man. creepy. I don't know. I mean, I tell the auto. Uh, I could be a stand up, but there's enough fucking stand up comedians. At least I have something different, you know? Yeah. yeah. You do what you do, man. Yeah. It's Dude, you every killed. Yeah. You killed this summer. Oh, my summer. God. Yeah. I'm going to kill this summer. You, you killed. Great. You really did, Otto. You killed. You Thank got you. laughed so big, I didn't see how they could be bigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? Thank <Yeah>. you. Uh, <laughs> Otto's, by the way, Otto's plugging a gig with one of my friends, Bob Levy. That's going to be amazing was tomorrow. The, the shittiest yeah. hair in show business, yeah. Bob fucking <laughs> Levy. Yeah. yeah. I know. Where, oh, how about where, where are you guys going to be? Got at the, um, the House of Blues, and it's in Atlantic City. It's September twenty second. What night is that, sweetie? Is that tomorrow? That's tomorrow night. Tomorrow 10 night. O'clock, yeah. Uh, House of Blues and AC. Uh, you can go to ticket. Uh, go to Ticketmaster, or you can call six zero nine two three six twenty five eighty three. I really hope a lot of Opie and Anthony fans come to see this show because it's going to be it's going to be strong. Otto be is uh, is fucking. It's brutal and it's like machine gun speed live. It's, it, he's just really one of the greats. And yeah. uh, everybody knows that who is a traveling virus. And Bob Levy is also a fucking, just a filth bag. It's yeah. Really funny. <laughs> filth bag. I, 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 I saw him once at a uh, roast. Was it your roast? Yeah, or? he's Yeah, and he was hilarious. Mm -hmm. That was the only time I saw him. I never saw him stand up. Bob, yeah, who who's, could be the worst alcoholic in, in the show. <laughs> he goes to the show three hours before so he can drink. Yeah, he's he the does. worst. He goes, to the, he goes like three hours before. Yeah. He's out of his mind. You know, he closes his act by eating blue cheese out of a, a girl from the audience's a a anus. That's yes. bullshit. I started that. You did? No. <laughs> it's a but guy's ass. Here's, <laughs> a, here's a question, because I've, I've heard that over the years. Yeah. He gets a girl every time? Yeah. Every time. Well, he started I, I, off yeah, with whipped cream. Or is there, like, ringers in the audience that he has to pay? No, no, That's no. a good question of why would a girl want to humiliate herself like that. You know? I, I would understand here and there you're going to find one, but every gig he knows he's going to close with this and, and it's going to work every yeah, time. Yeah, what's his plan B if he doesn't get that's a That's what I'm saying, yeah. right. Probably yeah. Thousand Islands or Caesar. Well, we, yeah, we, Wishbone <laughs> is sponsoring my tour. <laughs> we did the... Uh, <laughs> that ass-flavored dressing, <laughs> truthfully. <laughs> we did the Kid, Chris, the Kid Chris Christmas last year, so Levy went up and ate blue cheese out of some broads, but or whatever. Yeah. And to the, to, you know, the drunken animals in the audience. And then Colin has to follow it. I know. Right? I, I got to follow uh, him tomorrow. How, follow that with a but, fucking but you, garbage truck. But you could follow anybody. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Hey. You're, you're strong enough. Thank that, you. That, that you can follow anybody. Barry from Pittsburgh suggests that uh, if you need a puppet, Otto, that you could use Rich Voss today. He's uh, more than willing to help you. Remember when Dummy, we came yeah. to your house late at night, me and Bastille and you, and we were smoking crack and he was shooting heroin? It, that was uh, in... Brighton Beach. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was, it's like what I finally tried mind. to get you guys to eat a, a hot dog. And, no, and you didn't have a hot dog. Up. You just had beans. No, I uh, had. You, a you had a hot dog too. Yeah, I, I had Hebrew National hot dogs. We're so fucked with up. The JDL shirt. I'm, I'm, all, <laughs> yeah. I'm all cracked out. Frankie's on heroin. I don't yeah. know what Otto's on. And now we're starting to nod. And out of nowhere, uh, Otto just pops and goes, "Fuck Gary." Fuck this. Remember, you were like, fuck India. Fuck, fuck Machina. Oh, yeah. I'm going to, right? <laughs> just people that wouldn't hire us. Yeah. And just like every 20 minutes, you would go, go fuck themselves, right? Yeah. I'm talking to the coast. I was, I'm on the coast, the East Coast. Right? And we're just out of our mind. You had to be there. It was a drug store. Oh, boy. Funny. How do you ruin When I heard you yeah, had to I be know. there. How do you ruin Three comedian... called the rock back to tell him that one. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined this horrible. comedian drug story. How did you do that? Yeah. Yeah, when you hear you had to be there. Yeah, and I knew he was losing confidence in it. Cause he, he like, and then he's like, "Fuck, yeah. nothing from anyone." Yeah. So then we're still. S I knew he, he, so he the drug also, dealers used to hit you in the head with the rocks that yeah. you bought. <laughs> nothing. No, <laughs> I'm not helping anybody after the way I've been bombing. Yeah, Jesus, I fucking swung and missed. I have a back fucking pull. <laughs> Hey, uh, we got an update from Club Soda Candy. Remember Pat from Minaki doing me a favor today? Getting a yes. really big TV out to my brother. Uh -huh. He's uh, driving 100 miles each way, uh, and he he said he would do it for $100, which yeah. is just completely ridiculous. Yeah. His van is a piece of shit. He has no money. His trailer is falling apart. And uh, I think his van gets about seven, uh, seven miles per gallon. Well, we got an update from Club Soda Candy. Kenny! Hey, what do I always give you guys? Radio Gold? Bad bad news and bad grief. news, Grace. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, bad news. It doesn't fit in the van. Oh. oh. 
What, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the options are I could rent a U-Haul for the day or um, we could lay it down on its face, which I don't think is a good idea. No, no, no. Well, why not? He has one of those uh, moving blankets. Yeah, but he's only got one. If he had more than one, I would be comfortable with more padding, but he's only got one. No way. Why can't he lay it on its back? If you need padding, Norton will come and lay under it. Dude, it's bad to lay those TVs down. Um, yeah. is, it a, is it a flat screen? Yeah. No, it's like, it's, uh... I think there's stuff in them you should not... Is it have. one of those big, is it your old TV? Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. it's really large, but it's, it's like... projection. Yeah, it's like a 12, rear, rear yeah. projection. It's like 12 to 18 inches deep. Oh, the one you had in your apartment? Yeah, oh, yeah rear oh, projection. 40 inch. No, it's way more than that. Down at all, I don't think. No, those things are supposed to stay upright. You have to get to realign the mirrors and everything. It's a big pain in the ass. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah no I'll shit. Lay it down, bro. Well, what are we gonna do? Get a U-Haul. I, uh, I can go rent the yeah. U-Haul, or 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 the maintenance men in your building will be very happy to get this. I'll carry it on my back. Put it on the roof of the truck. Put some pads down and tie it down on the roof. I think you lay that stupid thing down and get it out there, and uh, then let my brother figure it out. You think? Get a U-Haul. Uh, well, yeah. I, all right, because I could go see if a U-Haul is available. I could get one for the day for about sixty, eighty dollars. <laughs> if not, we could try. Who cares? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then, uh, well, because I want Pat to, because I'm not paying him unless he does the job. Hmm. I know. He he always asked me if he has to give the money back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everyone's saying don't lay it down. All right, then rent the U-Haul, I guess. All right, I'll, all right, I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an update when I have one. When I all have right, better thanks, news. Kid. All right, what? Bye. All right. Oh, I thought he said I nice had better news. Nice said when I had better news. Okay, why don't we take a break? Uh, Miss Powell talk. The girls are getting crazy now. There's uh, What is uh, Deliver Us from Eva? I've never seen this from her before. She's, um, yeah. What the? She's... She's rocking a... Uh, naked and rocking a big dildo. Nice. She's rocking a flush rocket. Yeah. Got a big dildo. Nice. I think my my whole screen is freezing. Get a red rum. At this point, I might have to reboot. Fishy piss slit. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fishy piss slit. All right, $500 up for grabs. Damn it. Who's in the lead, Ant? Uh, you got some... Uh, Pookie Bear's cute. I don't know, because I'm so goddamn biased. Who do you like? Which I guy? just... There's only, like, two two girls that really, like... Who do you and, like? and and it's not even based on their their sex thing. They're just very cute. Who do you like? I I I know. I of course Marissa. Uh huh. You know because she's a pal and and she's a very very cute. And she has an he, ass worth killing family members for. Exactly. Really? And who else? And uh, Jody is is very very cute redhead. Ah, she's you adorable. Like you got her smiling now, there, Anthony. I couldn't see it because it's all frozen up on me. Yeah, yeah she's smiling. And now she's a reset. She's small. She looks like she's a little, like, a small. She's not a big girl. She's adorable. Saw her down there at uh, F.H. Riley's. 400 New York Avenue in the heart of Huntington <laughs> Village. She looks very young. All right. Yeah. We, we got to take a break. Uh, more with Otto. Very young girl. Just Otto from Otto and George. Very nice smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong, though. You babysit. You talk to him. Show him how to make a boy love him. Oh, God. What creep. That's the only his, thing that creeps me out. That's his is, creep. That's just creepy. Put him on your lap, and while they're napping, you just slip in the tip. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Oh, you, yeah. You're despicable. Hold, hold your door, the Explorer doll. <laughs> All right. That prosecutor tried to kill himself. Uh, they should have yeah. him that piece of shit. He fucking went to molest a five-year-old. He's a federal prosecutor. Oh, yeah? And he he brought Vaseline in the door of the Explorer doll. Oh, and yeah. they arrested him because it was a sting in Detroit, this scumbag. And he's in jail and he tried to hang himself. Oh, they wow. Why would you stop him from killing himself? Save the taxpayers yeah. the expense of fucking housing that garbage. Let him die. Hey, wow. Don't be so harsh. <laughs> was he caught on TV or something? No, he just got arrested. It was oh. a, a fucking five-year-old. Uh, oh. Um, oh, I heard that. All right, listen. When we get back, we're going to play... Uh, Renee brought something she thinks is funny. We started this yesterday. She brought in something else that she thinks is funny. We'll do that next. And then we got to get to Than's thing, the, uh, the sitcom uh, Back to You. Yeah. Which did very well in the ratings. Did it? And Than is going to, you know... Show everyone why this sitcom stinks. <laughs> we'll do it next. It's Opie and Anthony.
Opie and Andy. That's what you're listening to. And I'm Andy. Opie and Andy. Tom from Colorado writes, you guys have brought Pal Talk to its fucking knees. I can't get back uh, on. Fuck, 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 fuck! Yeah. Uh, the old days. The Miss uh, Pal Talk contest is yeah. uh, a complete yeah. disaster for well, everybody. Well, it's because uh, uh, it's kind of, we, we have completely destroyed the server. The server right now. We are really, well, we got a lot of people in here. Yeah. Who's that little blonde at the bottom? I'm going to try to... Um, we got $500 up for grabs here. I'm going to try. What are you trying to do there? Hmm. I, I'm bouncing guys now. Now, they've gotten to the point where... But the guys want to be in, in there hand. to check out the hot girls. Screw them. Then don't turn your cameras on. On. You turn your camera on. If you, All right. That So if they turn their camera on, they got to go, right? That's it. Yeah, guys, turn off your cameras and just check out the hot uh, the hot girls. Hey, when are we going to have... That's it. Turn off your goddamn cameras, guys, or I am bouncing your asses. That's what I've been doing the whole break. Just how about, bouncing guys. How about this? Next contest is a Pal Talk Jacker contest. Yeah, there you go. That way... Uh, yeah. Do that when I'm out sick, please. The guys will have fun. Judge by size? <laughs> no, I don't know. Just by the, the worst one. Ferocity. <laughs> Ferocity, just the worst... <laughs> Jacker. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta give away the five hundred dollars. What's the I think, quickest? Can right? you do it under a minute? Can you finish under a minute? I can't get dick hard under a minute, man. I'm a professional. Really? No. <laughs> no. Do you come in under a minute? I can, if I well if I build up and I work and I keep looking at pictures and stuff. It depends what the guy looks like, and then. Hmm. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> that was a, that was like a, a kind of good misdirection joke in like 1981. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like Wally Lieberman. Right. Let's get Renee in here. Uh, Renee, one of our interns. Um, I don't even know how this began. Oh, she found the uh, that awful song parody that Scott and Todd did. Horrible. No, she found it funny. She yeah, it was she, kind of funny. It, it was horrible, and she found it funny. Yeah, yeah, so we were really confused by uh, Renee. So we said, Renee, why don't you bring in something that is funny? And yesterday she brought in something that was kind of funny, right? Jimmy sort yeah. of liked it. I sort of thought it was okay after I saw the video. Mm. and really wasn't digging nah, it at all, right? Didn't like it. So uh, we asked her to bring in something else today. Right, Renee? Yes. Did you say hi to Otto? Hi, Otto. She got me yes. a water. She was very sweet when I first got here. She's a nice girl. Yeah. She's, uh, she, she's a very nice girl, yes. <laughs> Uh, so what did you bring us today? It's uh, I found the uh, video before, but I kind of ignored it. I wasn't sure if we were down with it, but uh, it's this crazy lady. She pretty much goes nuts. I'm not, we're not sure if she's high, she's drunk. I don't know what the hell's going crazy on. Crazy lady goes nuts. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same one. Is it the bunch on there? But um, see what's going on. It's pretty good, I think. Well, in the end, crazy lady claims she had nothing to eat or drink. Wants to go to Las Vegas. Everybody hates her. Yes. And you thought this was really funny. I thought it was it's better than yesterday, I think. Where is she from, Renee? Like, where was she shot? Where was she filmed? Where was she? She was in, like, one of those outside restaurants type thing, like, on the sidewalk, and she's just laying there screaming. Okay. Hmm. All right, Otto, you can make fun of her anytime you want, by okay. the way. Okay. Yeah, anytime. She's, anytime. She's, Go ahead. She's fair again. Her? Yeah. No, not at all. She's well, lovely, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sammy, what's going on, bud? I want to get out how much did she have to drink today? Excuse me? How much did she have to drink today? I don't know. What's her name? Uh, Sounds like a, Lucy. Uh, patron here? Or? <laughs> I want to go to the club. <laughs> Lucy. Yeah. Reggie. <laughs> <Piggy. laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Norm's apartment in the morning. I did what? Yeah. <laughs> Is she a uh, patron here? Or... Is she a patron here? You just Okay. Hey, what? Well, I'm going to Las Vegas. I can't stand I got it. Talk about an unhappy customer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, 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 ah. You just, you just meeting. Okay. Hey, well, I'm going to Las Vegas. I can't. <laughs> I can't wait. Everybody oh. hates me. This, I need my inhaler. <laughs> Everybody hates me. 
<laughs> That's what I hear in my head every time my girlfriend opens her mouth. Oh, God. Say anything. Oh. If it's hello. <laughs> Tell that thing to button up her shirt. <laughs> Is there more uh, audio, Renee? Uh, this should have been three tracks, but I'm not sure. Damn. I think you got it all. Do we go to the second track? Was that an, enough to pique everyone's interest? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to hear more. Okay. I think she sounds pretty, pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> so we're good. So, uh, so far, so good. Slow down. Yeah, yeah. So far, so good. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna rush crazy anything. Crazy lady. Why <laughs> 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 get out of here? You're lying on the ground in a very nice uh, restaurant. Those people are smoking, and I need my inhaler. I'm allergic to secondhand smoke. I have COPD. That punk over there quit smoking on August third. I am gonna get out of town. Wow. Get up. <laughs> oh my God, this is pretty good. <laughs> Is this fake? Yeah, that sounds too fake. Are yeah. Shot by I, don't, I don't think so. I, I would have. I don't hear fake in this. She's place. crazy. Yeah. She I really sounds, don't hear fake. She just sounds crazy. Yes. Yeah, just... Third one's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Try okay. It. Sammy, come on. All right. Yeah. Tell the truth. Husband and wife thing. Oh, Family night at the jail. All the cops at the donut shop. She's singing Walk Like an Egyptian. Is it, is it vodka that sets you off for one? Sit down. No, the police do. Oh, so no, she was, you know, it's not a Western language. Sit down and shut up. Marriott. Wow. What do you think? Uh, I like it. I think it's pretty, pretty insane. Yeah. I like her voice. It is like Lucille Ball. <laughs> All right, so it's better than yesterday, right? Definitely no, better okay. than yesterday. I'll give you that. But right. is it supposed to be funny? Because no, I didn't hear laughter amongst them. No, it was more it's enjoyable. Kind of it's like, enjoy yeah, it's, it's cool. It's, yeah. it's enjoying someone's misery. Yeah. Which is good, which is always fun. Hey, do we do we have someone working as a feedback today? Yeah. Patrick? You all right? Yeah. Everything? Oh, did he eat pussy last night? Uh, oh. Oh, how'd that go? She currently has uh, Aunt Flo right now. Ooh. Old Aunt Flo's come to visit. Ew. Old Aunt Flo, if I could, you know, put Ew. it in terms that aren't rude. She's bleeding from the cunt. That's right. <laughs> Her pussy looks like Mo Green's eye. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a girl, have you ever seen that white stuff come out of a girl's pussy? Yes, yeah, like it could yes. be a yeast infection. A yeast inf that milky substance? Yeah, it looks like glue. It stinks. It's fucking awful. Is that the worst? I'll yeah. take it, actually, and I'll rub my dick on her face and go, clean this, you slob. Yeah, is that no. the girl? You go down to eat, eat, I was with a girl years ago, and, and it smells so fucking bad. Yeah. It's a yeast infection, right? I think so. It's like, what, what are you having your fucking panties? Delint your underwear, you fucking <laughs> slob. Mm. Old linty box. So easy having shit just hanging on the outside. Well, the Give it a good yeah. scrubbing. Absolutely. If you want, you could scrub harder and it feels better. Yeah, yeah you know. Sure. You know you're getting to all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> yeah. It's right there. Hey, I, right there, I, I, sure. I asked Pat, Pat, I think we need the listeners to vote on Miss Pal Talk just to see where their heads are at. So it can help us Good with luck. our voting. We got $500 up for grabs. So if you're using instant feedback, not on the phones, because we need the phones for the show still. Instant feedbackers, though, please vote for your favorite uh, pal talk girl. All right? Uh, and we'll see what they're, what they're uh, thinking today. All right. Uh, TV update from Club Soda Kenny. Hello. Kenny. Hello. Listen, it'll be cheaper to buy your brother a new TV than to move this thing. <laughs> <laughs> How much, uh, baby girl? Well, what happened? If I if I rent the truck, it's only nineteen ninety five, but they hit you for two dollars a mile. So two dollars a mile times over two hundred miles. That's uh, yeah. You know, Do some math. Yeah. Two bucks a mile. What scumbags? Yeah. How could they advertise that they only rent they rent trucks for only nineteen ninety five when the fact of the matter is. It, you can rent it that way if you just leave it on the lot. <laughs> yeah. You never drive it away. Hey, can I rent this? I want to bring something from this lot to the other side of this lot. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, just, throw it, uh, just throw it on its face and then get it out there. Okay. Yeah. No, no problem. Wait, if you haul, are they the ones who are... Is there a, another rental place that might do it? I think uh, they're all the no, same. They're both the same. Budget and U-Haul, I called. What's wrong with Pat's van? 
the van's not big enough to stand it up. So well, you know, lay it on the face. Right. Lay it on the right. face, and we'll we'll take our chances. Either that, or give it to a maintenance guy. I don't give a shit about the maintenance guy. If okay. we look out and TV is working when he gets out there, then so be it. Okay. So, all right. All right. So we'll get more blankets, face. though. Yeah, I'll see if I can borrow any. We well, right. have something borrowed, maybe. All right. Thank all you, right. Kenny. Mm-hmm. Kenny wanted right. to be home by I'm now. Up. Yeah, I'm sorry to bring the show down with bad news. <laughs> well, well yeah. how about the planet. Miss Pow Talk in the works. Who, 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 who are the contenders for Miss Pow Talk? We don't know because all the cameras went away again. I mean, we're blowing up the whole server. Well, I've taken a look. I got about uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. I got about 12 up there now. Uh, right. I'm rotating through a few. Yeah, they keep going away, so. There is some totally right. nude, the some CBS, topless. The CBS downstairs is calling me, so let me take this call. All right, thank you. All right, boss. All right, who's breathing? Oh, he was asleep. No, I yeah, was, I wasn't asleep. No, you were asleep. <laughs> your <laughs> eyes were <laughs> shut. <laughs> you, you, your head was on your hand. And you were going. <sighs> no, I wasn't asleep. I was just going like, oh, I'm so tired. I wasn't asleep. No, you were asleep. You and then you jumped asleep, awake. You jumped <laughs> awake. No. I caught you asleep just before. Too. You were sleeping. I yeah. wasn't sleeping, sleeping. I, I was just... It. How do you know? Resting. How do I know? Because yeah. I know everything that went on. If I was sleeping, ask me a question for the last two minutes. Anything Why are you so Kenny stupid? Kenny just said, he borrow a blanket. I got to take this call. Did you call U-Haul? Did Neither you call Kenny or nor a lender B. All right, so I know. <laughs> All right, I wasn't asleep. I was just... And then what, what, what did he end with? What subject did Kenny end with? He goes, I hate to bring this down. Who's who's in the top in the Pal Talk contest? Mm-hmm. Ten minutes. Mm-hmm. And you said mm-hmm. I have 12 runner-ups. Well, right. I have 12 contestants yeah, that 12 are on, on there. But okay, all right. I'll give him that. All right. Hey, uh, where's Stan? Hmm. Did he just leave? Yeah. We're going to take a look at uh, Back to You, the Fox sitcom. Oh, when is fucking Kelsey Grammer going to stop showing his ugly, rich fucking face on TV? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking tired of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, isn't that the truth? Yeah. Ugh. He stinks. Well, now he's in this I new show. I hated Cheers, too. I hated that yeah. show. I never loved it either. Forced. You didn't like Cheers? Way forced, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, not a big fan. No. All right, well, Thad. How funny was Taxi, though? Rhea Perlman and Taxi. Taxi was, was brilliantly funny. Thad's here, Otto. And he's got a job. Oh. Uh, he has to watch all these awful sitcoms, really? and then he brings in examples of how how the sitcoms trying to be really funny, but it's obvious how bad it really is. Mm-hmm. Right? Where the, we leave the laugh sense, you can hear the laugh. Yeah, on. Yeah, Would yeah. we laugh at this? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. The backstory, so you know. <laughs> yeah, what's absolutely. Going on. A little bit, little bit. Well, Kelsey Grammer was an anchor in Pittsburgh with Patricia Heaton, their characters, of course, and then he got his big break and went to L.A., but then uh, yelled at somebody on the on his big L.A. show and ended up on YouTube, so he ended up back in Pittsburgh. Ah. So it's a news anchor? It's a new, two news anchors. Okay. Um, so now he's back in Pittsburgh, and Patricia Heaton's still there, and hmm. that's pretty much, I think that's all you need uh-huh. to know. And is there sexual tension between the two? <laughs> is there? <laughs> oh, you could cut it with a knife, Ope. Oh, wow. Wow. Pitch meeting go for this show. Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey yeah, Grammer. Yeah. All right, where do we sign? He's yeah. had a string of hits. And uh, this one, it's uh, Time Slot. It's doing very well in the ratings so far. So, yeah, just, so America's enjoying this so far. So far. They like the first one. They would just tune in to see Kelsey Ooh. Grammer. Well, we here. start with a grooming joke, right? Yep. All right, here we go. Is this funny? Okay, people, our new anchor is in the building. Let's try and look professional. Are we getting a new anchor? I had no idea. Gary, again, I'm sorry you didn't get the anchor job. You're sorry. I'm the one who spent the last 12 years out in the cold covering every freeway chase, toxic spill, and record snowfall. What was all that talk about you guys grooming me? That was about your eyebrows when we went high def. <laughs> Fucking awful. It sounds oh. like a script reading. It didn't even sound like... God. Yeah, that yeah. was the final performance that of that fucking read. line. You heard it, too. He fucked up his line yeah. there. I failed. Oh, that I, I think that was a very funny line. Oh. Because initially... Oh. Like, 
I was thinking, like, yeah, grooming the guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> but then you realize it's eyebrows. You're like, ah, yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> sleep deprived. That's when you're good. sleep deprived, you laugh at stupider shit. That's for sure. That's yeah. Good. The eyebrows are ungroomed. These are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just high def. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Topical. Sure. It's great. Awful. 2007. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. What's um, the next one? This next track, Kelsey Grammer um, confuses the news, the panicky news director he was just talking about uh, with a parking attendant. Legendary Chuck Darling. Oh, I don't know about legend. What's well, an anchor man, but a loud guy and keep people from flipping the channels. Huh? <laughs> well, it's a skill to command people's attention. People tell oh, me. Oh, hello, I'm Chuck Darling. Hi, Ryan Church. Listen, could you move my car? I think I parked in the wrong spot. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm the news director, so. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that embarrassing? <laughs> it's the black convertible. Uh, and then he just keeps going. Guys, it's skip a beat. <laughs> yeah. I just hate that over enunciated, well, you know, uh, well trained actorish fucking delivery he's got. Uh -huh. Same thing with Kevin uh, Klein. I hate he that guy, too. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you really think in there, Otto. Why are you holding back? Yeah, I just, he just fucking annoys me. <laughs> okay. Then? Uh, the next track, we meet their um, weather girl. He stinks. I'm Montana Diaz Herrera. Oh, yes. You're a weather girl. Or do you prefer weather woman? I never know which. Actually, I prefer meteorologist. But you're not a meteorologist. But I prefer it. Uh, <laughs> It's just that when you say weather girl, people assume you're some sort of bimbo. And you're fighting that stereotype by wearing a wristband as a skirt. <laughs> well, I saw you take, and I liked you very much, although we could make a few tweaks. Tweaks? Well, you know, little things. Your clothes, your hair, the way you speak. You need to use your diaphragm more. Like that's possible. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, here it comes. Mm. Like uh. that's possible. See, because she must fuck a lot. She's a whore. I hope the writer of this fucking yeah. putrid show gets finds a lump on his stern. They took this fucking writer right out of like Luna Lounge or somewhere. <laughs> Some fucking. I just don't think this type of edgy content is appropriate. No, this no. is dark stuff. We uh, what do we got as far as Miss Pal Talk goes? Somebody just brought in some phones. There's a nice ass right there in a fucking skirt. Hey, oh, Eric, if yeah, you, give if, one of these girls a 500 already, man. They're fucking... Oh, they're fake. looking, let's see. They're yeah. getting tired. <laughs> I'm caught up between two of them. Yeah. My twat is tired. <laughs> Was the clit laughing? <laughs> uh, well, God, Goober, uh, he's voted for his favorite pal talk girl, and that would be Travis. Uh -huh. God damn, look at that pussy. Uh, that uh, is fucking nice. The one with her leg up? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Where is that? Oh, over there? Yeah, she's yeah. got two cams. That is a fucking sexy girl. Man. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Otto? I, I like she looks very confident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch sticking out. <laughs> I don't this one. What's her name? I can't see it. What's her name? I don't know. Uh, what's her name? Moonrock. Oh, Flight benefits is hot, too. Fuck, man. The red rum is fucking juicy. No, not really. No. <laughs> Calling people trannies. I think they're smack talking. <laughs> Jimmy's diddling. Jimmy, are you playing with yourself? I'm just kind of cupping the head. <laughs> oh cupping the head. <laughs> I have one. My thumb is looped under the shaft, and the the, the, the other three fingers are tapping the head oh. while the pinky rests on the thigh. <laughs> Ben and I both just, we just had a moment together. We both noticed what Jimmy's doing at the same time. Very gentle operation. He's got a hand in his pocket. Hey, who's that chick with the fucking leather on? She's pretty sexy. Still smoking. Still smoking, Still smoking is very nice. Uh, all right, well, someone's got... Difficult decision here, I guess. Yeah, the yeah. feedback is voting for their favorite, so someone's got to kind of tally these to see where they're at. Norton's playing with his baby brother. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, another example of this fine uh, sitcom called Back to You with uh, Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> yep. It's, uh, well, this probably just explains itself. It's so funny. Oh, good. All right. Here's my number. I'm free most nights except for when I have yoga. Good. 
then you're flexible. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Are you coming on to him? Okay, okay. So I have a thing for men in power. Well, maybe you can rein it in a little. You're really overdoing the whole row, caliente Latina thing. Hey, hey, I have gotten very far using my Latina. It's pronounced your Latina. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? I don't even want Was that like a, 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 a vagina joke? I would have liked it more if he said it's a lunt. Yeah. <laughs> do they do these? Is this a uh, laugh track or do they do these in that's, live studios? And, that, you know, they, they, yeah, they, they punch it up, I guess. Yes, they do. They, yeah. Something they call it a laugh box or something that, where they even the laughs out. That's why the laughs are so perfect. Really? Certain canceled sitcoms never used the laugh box. It was pure laugh. Uh, ah, yes. Oh. Because Louie wouldn't allow a lap box. Oh, really? Uh, not allow it. Well, guys, <laughs> boss, boss is in the uh, business. You know, uh, tell the folks about a laugh box, will you? Me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're, I only you're bragging do, to the rock. I'm, I'm I only just, do you know. I do dramatic roles. When I play Lenny Bruce, we didn't use a laugh box. You know, I only do dramatic stuff. You I've think, never. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. No, I'm no, just no. saying I don't. I've never used it, so I don't know. Dramatic roles. Roland's got gifts. Yeah. What do you got? Knocked up DVDs. Ooh, oh, what is it? Ooh, a knocked up DVD. Wow. Oh. Thank you. Is it signed? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me that. Do you have an extra one for uh missing? No. Oh. When's he coming in? What? When's he coming in? Uh, they just uh, for his next one. When's he coming in? Uh, no, I'm, I'm finding out. Oh, all right. the hey, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Miss uh, Pal talk, and uh, I, I just want off the cuff comments about what you're seeing there. All right. Just uh, you know, name the girl and and uh, and uh, tell everyone what you're thinking. Uh, I can't. Will you get a mic in front of him? What, are you blind? Yeah. He's an older man. I have uh, allergies. <laughs> you have allergies? <laughs> what do you Allergy like? prevention from seeing no, TNA? No, my eyes. I have to, like, really... Uh, He's allergic to light filtering through his pupils. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, Oof. It's, uh... What the fuck? Kels Huff, one... Yeah? It's, like, fake boobies in front of her. What? Boobies. I don't know. I don't like, uh... All right, keep going. Uh, Kel Huff. Yeah, that's from the, uh... That's like a graphic yeah. oh. that comes with Pal Talk. She's just playing around. Oh, um, Bri and Frank one has um, some sort of weird booby and another booby hanging out. Oh. All right, keep going. Uh, yes. Then the girl seen there naked. More boobies. Yeah, but name the person. Uh, uh, still smoking. Who do you like? Which one? Yeah, which one? Which you, one would you uh, maybe pick as? Uh, yeah, if you like Miss girls, Pal which talk. one would you pick? Give us a little help here. That dildo girl. That dildo. Girl. Dildo girl. Which dildo? Sorry, girl? Marlo Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't. Who Bissell? needs George? <laughs> yeah, throw George in a fire when you get home. Was that the guy's name? Whit Bissell? Or Bissell. Uh, was it Ted Bissell? Ted Bissell. Ted Bissell. Yeah. Ted Bissell. <laughs> all right. Her fucking emasculated boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Pussy whipped ass. Yeah, all those guys in those sitcoms. Yeah. Fucking it was a time where women were finding their freedom. And yeah. She's that girl. I'm going out and I'm doing yeah. it. And he, she, he had to do everything because he was just pussy whipped. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> while she's doing that, her father's getting shit on under a table in Las Vegas. <laughs> you know who I always hated? Ro <laughs> Rhoda Morgenstern. Oh. Rhoda? Yeah, Rhoda, Rhoda Morgenstern. Mary was great. The whole cast was fucking great. Phyllis was a cunt yeah. on wheels. Yeah. Was wonderful. It's Rhoda with her. Rhoda. I'm going to have chemo soon. It fucking was, headband just thing. phony and stupid. Ugh. Hi, Mayor. All right, yeah. we get yeah. it. You're sassy. Mayor. Yuck. Oh yeah, Mary right, Tyler okay. Moore was so good that everybody got a sitcom from that show. Yeah, everybody, the, the whole cast uh, got a show from. You're it. right, Lou Grant. Yeah, uh, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Even the yeah. black yeah. guy was uh, what JJ Father. Amos, but really? It wasn't that. Yes, it was. Yeah, boss, that, that'll keep the people listening longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are brutal to rich. That's all right. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not brutal to rich. I'm Good Times was a spinoff though of um What's that? of Maud, which yes. was a spinoff of All the, the Family. Family. Yeah, which was a, a spinoff of Steptoe and Son, which oh. was actually Sanford and Son. All in the Family was called Man About the House in England. That was an English England. show, right? English. Yeah. What? All right. Here's another. Example of bad. Ooh, oh, okay. Of bad sitcom. Yeah. Roland, that yeah. was it. I think we, we're going into the home stretch here. What do you think of Red Rum, Roland? The girls are working their asses off, and that's all you got for us. Which one? Right there. What is that? Uh, she's okay. Can I have that, Roland? Which one don't you like? You can throw them. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Whose are they? What are they? They're from Cross the Universe Cupcakes. They're from who? The movie Cross the Universe. Cro Across What's the pouring out of the side of the box? His personality. <laughs> <laughs> They're called Crossing what? Across the Universe. <laughs> Uh, across the universe, the Beatles movie. That's from Buttercup Bakery. That's not getting the the greatest reviews, by the way. Buttercup Bakery. Why do they send stars. cupcakes? Yeah. Is that cupcakes. how they're promoting the film with cupcakes? I don't know. Are they trying to get kids to the movie? movie for us? Yeah. Uh, don't press it on my Woody Allen poster. I'll fucking. All right, who do you, Who don't you like up there? You. Yeah, who don't you like? Who should be eliminated? Um, they can't hear us, by the way, because we told them to turn off their yeah uh, yeah their audio, so it doesn't matter. Say, they'll ne they'll never hear it. The one below. Just give the name. We don't. Uh... Yeah. That one? They're the one below right here. Who what's the name? Give what, the name. Yeah, what's the name? She's not listening. Uh, Bree, Bree, and uh, Bree and Frank. <laughs> you don't like her, huh? No. Think she's a pig? <laughs> I don't know. She can't. Hoish? I don't know. Hoish? <laughs> Fishing for babes. You're gone. <laughs> You're just fucking bounced. What happened? I'm sick of seeing the same goddamn text come up. Shut up already. I'm I'm going to just start bouncing. Random bouncing. What All are right. you saying? All right, why don't we get to... Just uh, like keep printing and posting who he wants to win. I don't want to see it. This isn't where you vote, dummy. Okay, uh, back to you, the Fox sitcom. Well, when you have a funny joke like... like He's angry. <laughs> Latina. Yeah. Or what was it, Latina? It's time to do a call back a few cupcake. seconds later. Okay. Can oh, no. Here we go. You want a cupcake, Otto? No, thank oh, you. And also, listen. Want to bring one home to George? Mm, yeah. All right. And listen uh, for the ridiculously long laugh at the end of this not funny joke. All, all right. right. Okay. Well, it's five minutes to show. We can't find Kelly anywhere, so we may need you to cover for her. Really? I'm behind the desk tonight? That's amazing. Yeah, well, maybe now you can stop complaining. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. Sometimes I can be a little whiny. I believe that's pronounced little weeny. Ah, uh, got him. Oh, my God. They're still laughing. Oh, they're still laughing. <laughs> what is, what is, Jimmy, what happened? What happened to your cupcake, Jimmy? <laughs> Boss did um, what he probably should have done. <laughs> Which was slap it out of your hand? Yeah. Is that what happened? It's everywhere. It's all over the place. <laughs> I'm sorry, you got it. Did he really slap it? As best as you can with turtle feet hands. <laughs> <laughs> slap, slap. Uh, slap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Should we continue God. with this or what? You guys are so funny. Yeah, I like it. All right. Fight yours now. It's a hysterical show. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's the next one there, uh, Than? Uh, it's finding his place. Turtle feet. Okay. Patricia Heaton and Kelsey talking. All right. <laughs> but look, my, my point is, I really need this to work. All the networks want now is use and hair. It's a pretty cruel joke for a guy who spent his whole lifetime waiting for his chance to be Walter Cronkite. <laughs> Please tell me you are not looking for sympathy about age discrimination from a woman in her 40s. Oh, come on. You look younger than you did 10 years ago. You even said that with a straight face. I'm chock full of Botox. <laughs> <sighs> Hope he dies in a grease fire. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm sorry. For what? Lucky Louie. Yeah, of course. The nerve of us to fucking uh, not use any fake laughter and just be uh, yeah, talk like real people talk. The nerve of us to shoot it on a not fucking giant set. I, I, I hope David Biancali and Linda Stacy both suffer. Why? They like this? I don't know. They like this. Oh, they didn't like Lucky Louie. They heard us. And that Linda Stacy, you Who's that? A pig. TV critic or yeah, something? Yeah, she's a cunt from the Post. And Biancali is a fat-faced cunt from the Daily News. Oh. I, I hope they both suffer somehow. Yeah. I don't know how. Yeah. But somehow. Oh. All right. Uh, we got two and more examples. Jackers. What? Well, they're slowing down everything. The guys weren't listening. So now uh, they, I hope they're getting real angry when all of a sudden they just get bounced out of the room. They're coming in and jerking off and, and just sitting there typing. If you're a guy and your camera's on right now, I will get you. I am going to get you. I'm going to get you. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Hmm. Hate these people. Just leave the girls there. That's all I want to see. Okay. Are we screen capping this so everyone else could see it? I don't know. All right. Hey, another example there, Than. Yeah, this is when they get saucy. Okay. 
Sorry I overreacted earlier. That's <laughs> all right. It's understandable. Especially considering how badly I handled things after we, you know. Oh, Chuck, would oh, you... Oh, come on, me? Kelly. I'm... Look, denying it is not going to make it go away. We slept together, all right? This just in. Your exact words that night, as I recall. <laughs> Other fucking fuck job. Yeah, everything is There's a, a sexual reference. Yeah, everything is bad. a cunt or a yeah. fuck or that's how unclever they are. Yeah. The double entendre. I fucking despise television. Did you like that one, Jimmy? The this just in joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally, uh, masculine figure. What's this? Um, Frazier just found out he fathered uh, what's her face's kid. Do you have to watch all these sitcoms and, and like. No, yeah, half the way loves it. Oh, really? <laughs> this is how many laughs. You, you know what's fucked? The thing is, uh, Sarah's show is very funny on Comedy Central, and you have radio hosts trying to bash her and go, We got to get this off the air. We got to protest. Uh, 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 Laura Ingram? Laura Ingram. Oh, she's was, a boring comedy. All right. Cares about uh, her. We, we, you know, uh, take, our, take our television back, take our country back. You know what? It comes on at 10 30. Shut your mouth. This is more fucking offensive than her show. That they yeah. Really put this on. What does she mean, take our country back from you who? Know, from from the people running, you know these from the uh, uh, oh, you yeah. know just <laughs> oh, whatever my people. Uh, oh, All right. it, it just, here's the final one. I'm going to make this easier for you, and believe me, it comes out of love. You would suck as a father. <laughs> you are self-centered. You're dismissive, and if you're not chasing after the next job, it's only because you're chasing after the next woman. You know. I might point out here that your daughter could benefit from a strong, masculine figure in her life, but I see she already has one. Dyke joke. Oh, they're all sex, dyke. Let it's, that be a lesbian it's, to it's you. All, it's it was awful. All, but it's all like just sitcom -y. Sexual tension. Yeah, everybody's yeah, a lot of line is a, is a punchline. And a gem. And he gets a dump truck full of $100 bills every week for doing this fucking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> dump truck. <laughs> All right, thank you, Sam. You're Guy's got to make twenty five hundred. Good job there, Sam. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Perhaps more than that. Perhaps, perhaps more than that, Jim. Jim. Ah, 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 ah. We're gonna take a break. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Uz. We're gonna take a break, and we're gonna crown Miss Pal Talk after the break. Oh. Right. And do get in your last. Uh, and get the plugs in for uh, Otto and George. And get the Rich Voss. fuck out of here. And we'll get the fuck out of here, here for the weekend. So uh, yeah. we'll announce the winner of Miss Pal Talk next. It's Opie and Anthony. Turn down the fucking music so we can hear what Jimmy's saying in the background. Whoever's controlling the music. They do that from over there or? Wow, the, um. God damn it. Learn how to fucking run a board. You hear Jimmy talking to the uh, naked chicks. You lower the music so we can hear what the fuck he's saying. I'm trying to watch the, uh, Radio the, 101. The votes are being tabulated here. We are all turning in. These okay. girls know what we right said. Off, right? Yeah, wow. Look at that. He has a stomach like me. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Fluidy yellow love handles. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Oof. A double oh, top. Yeah, look at that. What? what what's that? Mark. What's what's yeah. what's that? Yeah. Who do you like? Huh? Uh, I I give it to um. <laughs> Mr. Majestic over there. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Mr. Majestic. <laughs> Charles Brunson. Yeah. How do you That's like nice. your liver? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. We need more wood to prop up the tunnel. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you want to know who the listeners voted for um, on instant oh. feedback? Yeah, okay. Uh, and this isn't the, the final tally, by the no, way. No, no, this, this is, is just, just the listeners. Just the listeners. Contribution, trying to sway our vote. And to the women, you know, it's go time. This is it. If you're holding back, uh, don't hold back anymore. Hey, I'm trying to get to Sandy Kane real fast, but I can't get the phones working. Oh, God. We blew up everything with this contest. How is the phones not working? I have no idea, man. They're they're frozen. Look at that. She they're frozen. In the Phil Spector truck. All right, then we're gonna do uh, yeah, line of the yeah. day as well, and then we're gonna uh, tell everyone who won the uh, Miss Pal Talk contest for the five hundred dollars. Uh, the instant feedback voted in third place for still smoking. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, second place, flight benefits. Mm-hmm. And uh, instant feedback gave Miss Pal talk to Eva. Deliver us from Eva. Who's in wow. third place? Oh, I'm sorry. Still smoking, according to the instant feedback. Now, that's right. just the that's uh, really instant the feedback. That's, that's just the, the instant final. feedback. That's yeah. not the final. That's not the final. We we make the final decisions. Right. Uh, Otto voted for the thing, yeah. and Voss uh, voted for Pookie Bear 07. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Pookie Bear uh, 27. Oh, 27. That's okay. what uh, Voss, right. Voss voted for. All right, let's try this again. Uh, we're going to get re- ready for line of the day, and then we'll announce the winner of Miss Pal Talk. Sandy! Yes. What? Sandy Kane, everyone. What's up? Oh, I wanted to um, come on the show, man, and show you my titties. Why? Would you get new ones? <laughs> Um, no. Oh, I thought maybe you got implants or something. And yeah, wanted... you think I should? I was thinking of it. <laughs> you know, like, with all the girls with all the implants, like, mine are so small. Like they're only double Ds. Hey, did Phil Spector rape you? Yeah. He put a gun to my head. He did? Yeah. Didn't so, you say... Wait, she, this, you were uh, part of that case, right? Yes, I was. And uh, he put a, a gun to my head, and so... Uh, he put a gun to my head, and he said I should suck his head, or he would blow me away. Didn't uh, you say? He, didn't you, he uh, said, "Blow me, or I will blow you away." I didn't you say Pryor raped you too? Uh, didn't yes. you say that? Yeah. Wait, what are the odds that two famous people raped you? What are the odds of that? Fucking maniac! Pryor <laughs> and Phil you. Spector raped you. I was you. raped a lot of times, man. You know. Oh, I mean, really? It's called too many drugs. Yeah. Well, when did Pryor rape you? Uh, when did he rape me? Um, he raped me. So he said, so help me, I'll rape you. So I said, so rape me, I'll help you. He said, so help me? So help me. So help me, I'll rape you. And she said, uh, uh, rape me, I'll so, help you. She, everything she says is a vaudeville yeah, so joke. Pryor called Spectre and said, hey, you want an easy rape? <laughs> no, he said, I, he, said um, he said, I'll record you. He's crazy. I feel Spectre. They were both totally insane. Uh, they were both insane, and they were both rapists, and they were both dicks. So uh, he's cuckoo for cocoa pop. Hey, uh, let it be known, this is Sandy Kane. We have no fucking idea if this is true. The Robert Blake shoot. I ain't, shooting I ain't losing my too. She's lying. I ain't losing my job because you're delusional. Women. Yeah, I don't. I actually don't agree. I think she is lying. Yeah. Well, well I, I, don't, it, don't you think I'm you know, like you know? Um, don't you think I'm attractive enough that a man wants to rape no. me? No. Absolutely then, no, not. You're dude. not even attractive enough that we will that talk to you on the air years for more than ago, five minutes. Man, you know, I mean, man, but, um, they were both really very crazy men. I mean, you never met more two crazy people than Phil Spector and Richard Pryor. So okay, but right now, before any other trials, did anybody else rape you? Yeah. So before, I how many this, celebrities have raped you? I had this guy mm. from Ecuador rape me on the way home from a, a dancing job in, in Jersey, and he, he almost killed me. I mean, he put his hands around my neck, and he said, fucky, fucky. So I did, and he, uh-huh. he was going to kill me. No, there's a lot of girls that, that do get murdered because they don't give in to rapists. So I'm, I'm still oh, here. Oh, so you're just saying, Hey, look what happened know, to Lana Clarkson. In. Look what happened to her. I mean, oh. she, you know she didn't kill herself. Right. Hey, Matt from Long Island wants to know, is that why uh, Richard Pryor lit himself on fire? Uh, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, but he was really a dick, and, but he had a very large penis, so I just laid back and enjoyed it. Oh, he had a oh, big no. cock, who, uh, yeah, Pryor? Totally, totally, totally. And you know who else is very well endowed? You remember Damon Wilson from uh, Sanford and Son? You uh, fucked... Uh... I raped him, I raped him, so he was you really... F- Tomorrow really fuck hot, man. Oh, shut up. So, uh, tomorrow we, Wilson, guys. Bob Newhart you, you slipped me a roofie and fuck fucked me with a strap-on dildo. Wilson, whoa. I thought it was a strap-on. Hey, uh, why don't we say it again? We have no idea. Hang up the phone. This one it. fucks niggers. <laughs> 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 nothing doing. This one fucks niggers. <laughs> no, no, nothing doing. That's my bread and butter. Hey, hey. What is that from? I don't know. But, yeah. oh. <laughs> from his head, obviously. Well, well, that's why I have a black dildo, because it doesn't show the dirt. Ugh. This call stinks. Yeah. Bio I had, incubus. I at once thought that maybe Spectre did, did attack her, and now I just don't believe it. Yeah. No. You've the, convinced me that I, Phil Spectre, because you're Is innocent. I believe you might have fucked Pryor. Desperate. Did they take you seriously during the trial? 
when you're on the witness stand? Oh, definitely, definitely. And she, you know, definitely. she's trying to fucking, she's probably helping ruin somebody's life yeah. for her fucking Every 10 listener. minutes. Bill Spector killed that woman, Lana Clarkson. Don't think. Oh, what? She's a fucking really? skank. She, she was, was a not B, a skank, man. She was a hardworking a, bitch. A, a you know, B, like movie. B movie actress means porn when they say that. Uh, Dave Elv from North Carolina. Which Ted Bundy porn? would have passed on this Which bitch. One yeah. Porn? Which one oh, was Ted porn? Bundy had a big cock. Who <laughs> <laughs> really broke his arm? You're a whore. I'm, I am a whore. So <laughs> the only you. thing you and Phil... Phil it's uh, hold on. for you to be a whore, but it's not all right for me. All right, hold on, you That's whore. Good. Uh, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. Kind? Kind? I did a fucking auto cunt Hold on, Kenny. Oh, ahead, I did Jimmy. an auto cunt rant one day. Who we call? Oh, Paula Zahn. Yeah. Oh, Paula Zahn's a kind? Kind? <laughs> really felt good to be you for a half hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's well, up, Kenny? Patrick Malaki wants to know if Tex Antoine was her weatherman. They're still with Pat oh, from Monaco. God, what he's happened telling to the TV? Tex Antoine jokes? Yeah. Yeah. What well, happened? you know, I, I thought it was funny when Pat said it. I guess you had to be here. Mr. Yeah. The, Wethby. The final update, the, the TV's in the van, and it's, it's on its way now to Long Island. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So have a nice weekend, everybody. All right. Don't pull a Harry Chapin. Get the TV there. <laughs> <laughs> L-I-E. Yeah. There, there goes Kenny. Uh, are we done with Sandy Kane, <laughs> too? Ooh. Oh. Hey, you know, hey, I'm doing a movie about Dolly Parton, so they're casting no, it as Dolly Parton. No, they didn't. They did. It's, Punch it's Pardon Me, Dolly, it's called, and it's going to be shooting um, soon um, in a club, so I just wanted everyone to know. Okay. Are you playing Dolly Parton if she was a zombie? That's what she looks like. Yeah. She's like the evil <laughs> dead version. <laughs> You're playing yeah. Dolly's dry bush. It's Dolly Dawn Parton's of the dead. <laughs> it's Dolly Parton's uh, life story, but in this case, they're even going to have the part where Dolly dies and they need a corpse, so they got yeah. Sandy Kane yeah. to play okay, Dolly Parton as a corpse. Now, hey. Why don't you come in? Huh? Come in and show off your tits, and uh, maybe we got a, like a stripper pole here. You can work it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I fuck it? Well, sure. Yeah. And you're going to yeah. blame the pole for raping right. you. My, twat, my <laughs> yeah. twat is up. My twat is up, guys. And, oh. and how's Twato? Twato is still getting recognized in clubs. Uh, that's well, I just did a club downtown, Fontano's, and they all want to say, all they want to see is Twato. I was, like, embarrassed, but I couldn't help it. So we took a picture, and it's like <laughs> they did a close-up on Twato, so it was really hot, you know? Twato is more popular than anything. <laughs> well, we know you've never taken up the ass there, Rich. Oh, oh boy. God. I, I know, wow. right? Like a trumpet. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. That air was struggling to get out. <laughs> I'm you, man. That's why my <laughs> ass is so tight, because I have a hemorrhoid. Uh, and then shut never up! Shut right. up, you delusional fuck. I never let a black guy fuck my ass off. <laughs> there is no I movie. Hemorrhoid. Of course so, there isn't. You know, there's no movie. There's no uh, uh, Phil Spector. There's no Richard Pryor. There's fuck no you. black dude from Sanford and Son. Yeah. <laughs> None of this nice, happened. Uh, you nice raked nice your way up to him. nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. DeMond nice Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Who claims to have fucked DeMond Wilson? <laughs> hot. DeMond Wilson uh, Stop lying. You're, you know what you are? You're a lying hey, old lady. I can tell you the story would happen, man. I mean, you're I, a sad old lady. Yeah. yeah. And, you're, and you're like, look who's talking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. What did, man. What did you, Grady you turn you down? Hey, did fucking Ann Esther give you a hot Carl? <laughs> my Aunt Esther. My Aunt Esther, man. She, she abused me. She raped me. Man. What a hot tongue, though. Like, Shut up, would you? She had a great oh, tongue, my Aunt Esther. God. Uh, she pulled a train with that. Steptoe and Son. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lying. Jesus. You're a fucking uh, lying old lady. Sydney Portia raped me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah. I oh, saw your ID. You're 71 uh, years old and you lie a lot. I'm Just kill a mocking Jew. Hey. Yeah. Um, hey, hey. She doesn't uh, like uh, when you call her old. She hates She's that. ancient. Yeah. You're an old lady. Wait, hey, Jim, do you have a big dick? I bet it's small. Yeah. Oh, she got you, Jimmy. I heard, I heard it's small. This girl said she fucked you and it was very small. This comic. Really? Well, well, well one of the stories a lie because you put girl in it. Okay, hmm. and Jimmy has a nice cock. I've How seen it many know? times. How I just know? said I've seen it That's many a time. Okay, please tell me. I hear it's very small. That's what she said. You know, I think it's a lousy leg. How but, big yeah. was Ted Lang's cock from the <laughs> Love Boat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I heard. I heard you were. Don't forget sticks from Happy Days. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you were digitally raped by John Amos. Is that the? <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. It's John Amos. Nice he had a big That's nose. why he died. Yeah. He, he was, was fingering her. Oh, you, you talk. 
that. Rumor has it a uh, Benson wouldn't eat your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but Krauss would. Krauss. <laughs> Richard Pryor was very, very hot. You know? uh, all right. Okay. All right. Stephen Esther writes, uh, just, just lie back and let them life. throw the dirt over you. Now, let oh. me tell you, he promised me cocaine oh. and miles. Hope miles that fire truck David. hits her. And all he gave me was a big dick and two balls. You're just a lying old no, lady. I'm yeah. telling you, man. He promised me cocaine, and he didn't have any that night. So, you know. So, so right. anyway. Hey, I heard that fucking Raj and Dwayne raped you <laughs> and from what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and and rerun re jerked off on your back when he was doing it. <laughs> I want to get raped by a midget, man. That's what I'm... You're like. an old lady who mm. lies a lot. Yeah. How do you know that? You know what you are? You're a liar. You're a senior citizen and a fibber. <laughs> a fibber. <laughs> a fibber. Yeah. You have a bumper sticker. Ask me about the black men I've fucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you marry Scott Peterson? But uh, anyway, I'm, I think I'm going to rape my garbage man, so... Uh, Shut up. Outside, All right. man. I'm looking... Mm. You might as well. Your vagina already smells like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I might accidentally Barbie? turn around and throw you in the truck. Hey, well, anyway, is that the fish store or is that my pussy? That's what I'd say. It's disgusting. I'm You're in a nice family. A lot of fish here. So. What other black yeah. guys rape you? Whippy? Did Whippy Goldberg rape you? Black guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy, you're an old lady, devoid of humor, and a liar. <laughs> By the way, I'm making this Dolly Part movie. They're very hot on me. and we're Oh, they are not. You are not. <laughs> it I'll, is not. I'll bring you the contract, man, when, when I come see you guys. How Nobody's much are they paying cool. you? Huh? How much are they paying you, liar? I'm going to fucking freeze her award. They're giving me a piece of the movie. How much are they paying you, liar? I don't know if I'm at liberty to say that. But they Shut are up, me. liar. If your apartment hey, was on fire, you wouldn't be hot. <laughs> <laughs> How much are they paying you, liar? What, what's it you know, it's a difference. Oof. They're paying me, man. They're giving me a piece of the movie. It's called That's old lady and liar. I'm just asking you how much they're paying you. You know, you know um, age is just a number. I mean, just because someone gets a little bit older. Yes, but yours has three in a row in it. <laughs> <laughs> so how much are they paying you, old liar? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I'll, I'll show you the contracts when I come see you. No, no, uh, just tell me, old lady who can't geez. tell the truth. I heard the black drummer from the Allman Brothers raped you. Yeah. So, really? <laughs> Um, anyway, um, but anyway, oh. this movie's called Pardon Me, Dolly. I'll be singing. No, uh, it's here, not. Here you come again. Now, can I sing it on the show? Here you uh, come yeah. again, sucking and a fucking me, but ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm All right, that's funny. Blow, legal from the banana oh, splits oh, raped me. He <laughs> promised me coke. <laughs> he promised me cocaine. She took it up the ass from Scatman Crothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to in the back room of the <laughs> cotton club. Yeah. You lack like a dick. You lack like a I dick do in the, do the do asshole do lady. Yeah. Cocaine, <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. That was my middle name. Uh, cocaine. Uh, Ain't nobody son. jacking off in here, motherfucker. Your son is attempting to bring an out. Oh, yeah. Yes, a oh, cadaver. A cadaver. <laughs> cadaver. Yeah. Into this I wanna, situation. I want to so promote this movie, Pardon Me, Dolly. You're an old You liar. do not. Nine You're not five. doing a movie. This is what's wrong with this business. What? Yeah. The only what's movie you should be in is a snuff film. Yeah. That you guys think you're the only ones doing anything. Stop calling yeah. us. You and should be right. coffin shopping. <laughs> and you're right. Have some cream <laughs> corn and die. To do it anyway. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, I, you know, I, I just, I'm kind of excited. It's kind of gives yeah. me the courage to come on to your show. And oh, my shut up. And Fall down saltine hips. It's snowballing. <laughs> it's skyrocketing. Hey, you guys think I should have a facelift or what? Oh no. no! You no, don't I think, think it would you look, help. You look your face looks like Sally Field's neck. Yeah, yeah hit your life call, would you? Uh, 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 uh. We have a, a, a contest to win. Yeah, announce. we gotta go. You just yeah. we have hot contest. girls. We can't uh, be, yeah. be dealing with uh, so, uh, the uh, likes of you. You know what? When can I come right, to show you? Wait, Plato, so, man? Right now, Phil Spector was sitting next to his lawyer going, I wouldn't fuck that. What she, yeah, what is she fuck saying? Where did she come from? Like, fuck. I, uh, I'm fuck, fucking wait, Phil Spector. Fuck, I didn't yeah, fuck it's that. like, fuck. First, they got me on murder, and now they got me on <laughs> fucking this that? broad. Yeah, Great. Right. Fuck out of here. While you were on the stand. Yeah. And as soon as you said he raped me, did the defense lawyer just look at the jury and go, we rest? <laughs> we rest our case. <laughs> no, I mean, he was very serious. He didn't, like, he wasn't fooling around like you guys. He just said, you know, oh, like, what happened? Oh, um, he, God. he put a gun to my head. He didn't head. want a real answer. You're no, an old lady. Hey, f hey, fuck you guys, man. I mean, I'm still alive. Oh. I'm still breathing. Slit your I'm throat and get off my planet. <laughs> and, you know, Bill, Bill Spector deserves to be... Uh, um, do you think he's going to get... Um, 
convicted. Hey, man, nobody raped you. Fuck you, man. Yeah. You're lying, man. Yeah, uh, uh, lying old cum dumpster. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking soup cooler. <laughs> How many loads? How, How many, many loads would you load? say? <laughs> have been shot inside of you. Ugh. And he had, like, not-so-big dick, Phil Spector. Not a good one, not a very good one. Very limp. Uh, you know, it's it, funny when you're being raped that you sit there and judge the cock that's raping you. Yeah. Right. You know? Hey, well, this is the so worst rape I've so ever hot, been involved dude. in. I should be getting no. paid for this one, but... Uh, I'm, you're a liar. Uh, I'm done yeah, with her. my own all life, right. man. You know, Lana... Uh, 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 all right. All right. She's lying. Yeah, all right. She's done. Enough her. We have no idea Dumb what the fuck she's trying to say. She's lying. Liar. It's perfectly clear. She, That's she, what she's saying. She went in, into the newspaper with the prior story right after he yeah. died. Like two days after, she's in the fucking paper. Liar, liar, pants smell like fish. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do uh, line of the day, and then uh, the let's old. announce Miss Powell talk and get out of here for the weekend, okay? All right. Three. All right. Uh, Runner-up line of the day. Hit it. I think my my whole screen is freezing. Get a red rum. At this point, I might have to reboot. Fishy piss slit. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fishy <laughs> piss slit. <laughs> that is a good one. There you go. Uh, another runner up line of the day. Okay, do you have a uh, who who discovered uh, insulin? <laughs> No, um, I wait. Uh, Not as as a yes, I do know. It's it's Doctor uh, 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 Doctor Diabetewitz. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetewitz. <laughs> Another runner-up line of the day. <laughs> she always rides at Disney. <laughs> it's a big nose after all. <laughs> That was a great. <laughs> yes. Are you there, Rich? Is that girl getting a pussy eaten by another girl? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, naughty. We got the the slug line, and we don't need to do that today. Um, sure. No, not that. The uh, Bodog. Hmm. Oh yeah. BodogFantasy.net sponsors line of the day. Go to their website and uh, and what? Play against Travis. Play against Travis as far as uh, yeah football picks go and win some money, right? BodogFantasy.net. Yeah. BodogFantasy.net. Here is your line of the day. Here, here, here comes line of the day. Line of the day. Line of the day. We've known you for eight years. You've given us two copies of your DVD. I give no way. Yeah. Oh, my God. We don't have them just laying around. Yeah. Read your shirt. <laughs> Oos. 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 Very good. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Who's got the votes? Who's got the votes tabulated? Ready to go. $500 up for grabs and the title of Miss Pal Talk. And we're going to do this again soon? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. And then my contest idea. What's uh, that? Pal Talk Jacker. Ah, Jackers. We'll <laughs> yeah. let some ladies in. We'll have a big meeting about that soon. <laughs> what happened to the $1,000? We explained it 80 times. We wanted to give away $1,000, but some rules got in the fucking way. And yeah. New York and Florida wouldn't have been allowed to be involved due to restrictions. Who has the final tally? Well, that's it. Here it is. You didn't come up with a... How did you tabulate them? Did you have a name and how many votes they got? And I don't know how, how much weight to give each person's vote versus... Well, where's Steve? The wait one, to go. The one common name on everybody's vote list besides Rich and Otto's is Flight Benefits. Uh huh. Flight Benefits. I see... Uh, I see. So she got the most Wait. number of votes? Wait, I got Eva, Flight Benefits, Still Smoking, Baby Girl, Sweet Jody, Flight Benefits, Flight Benefits, Red Rum, Eva. So what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what does that mean? Is it Flight Benefits? What does that mean? Add, add, add them up. I, 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 Did she just take a cum shot on the chest? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Holy like shit. Won, though. I mean, I a 500 way tie. Good Personally, Red Rum is one of my top, but so is Flight Benefits. So I've. Well, and Flight Benefits sounds like she got the most mentions. But it's weird because, like, uh, you place. We gave three answers. Yeah. We gave th our top three. So if if someone has them listed as third. It shouldn't be 
given as much weight, like you said, as the one listed as first place. Good but point. but how do you do that? A point value system? Hmm. Two points for first. All right, you guys. Or go. three points for first. I figured out. Two points for second. Steve. One point for third. Oh, why? We and then we go on a point Steve. system. Get the rest of the guys and uh, figure out who wins. How are we tallying the winner? They'll figure it out. E Rock, did you vote? No. Well, then vote, you queer. <laughs> Eva just had a load of cum shot right on her tits. All right, so if she doesn't win Miss Paltrow, she'll win Miss Lucky Devil. I don't. <laughs> And the text is flying by faster than you could even see it. Wow. That people were just freaking out at that. Holy shit. Look how fast it's going. Okay, you can't right. even read it. This says Eva a lot. It's just going. It's flying by. Ah, it's amazing what a cum shot will do to this fucking room. Are they excited in here? Or is, I think fit? so. And now I just, like, all of my videos are completely frozen. But the text is flying. Oh, my God. All right, Rich, where are you going to be? Oh, I'll be at Bananas this weekend if I'm not raping Sandy. Oh, I'll be at Bananas in Hasbrook Heights. Yeah. Bananas, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jimmy just showed his asshole. <laughs> Voss is throwing up. No, oh, Jimmy God. didn't just show his asshole, man. You're he opened up his fucking asshole. <laughs> and death oh came God. out. Cool. Death came out. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> basically. He, he, wow. He, That's bad. He basically opened up his asshole while uh, Richard oh was trying God. to unplug. <laughs> and, and then he spread. He didn't just fart. He sprayed a fart <laughs> in the rich boss's direction. Wow. I don't smell anything. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, thank my you. God. Jimmy, this Ooh. is officially the worst one ever. And he just ruined thank my you. kid's smell. What kind of guy oh, are you? Oh, my God. My eyes are hearing from across the room. I can't smell it. I, I, oh, my God. Not, you could it. see a fart. I just saw one. He didn't fart. He, <laughs> he <laughs> sprayed knocking, a fart. That's from knocking your cupcake. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my uh. God. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Rich, where are you going to be? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, bananas. Hashtag Heights this weekend. Tonight and tomorrow? Friday, Saturday. Four shows. Wow. Oh. This thing is flying. Yeah. In two weeks, helium. All right. Um, Have you figured it out? Yes. All right, with the point value system, all right, my, we have all we we all voted for three people in order. First, who we thought should be first, and then who we picked as like second and third. Uh, whoever we picked as first got three points, second got two points, third got one point. Based on now tabulating those, we will pick a winner and crown a Miss Pal Talk. <laughs> who came in? Third place. Oh, no, what are you plugging? Jesus. Oh, oh, no I'm, trying. I'm so trying to get the fuck out of here. I, I swear to God. What? House of Blues and AC. It's Friday. Tomorrow night. September I got shit to do. September oh, wow. It's after 11. September 22nd is tomorrow night. The House of Blues in Atlantic City uh, with, with the great Bob Levy. It should be a great show. I got a new DVD. Uh, uh, it's being sold on Laugh.com as well. Ooh. Okay. Oh, very good, Otto. It's a live show with me and John Valby because I, I didn't want to give away too much of my stand-up. So combine the two of us. That's cool. cool. Get Ticketmaster tickets or 609-236-2583 tomorrow night. That is a great show. Yeah, Otto I, and George and Bob Lee. I want to say it in front of Otto. Otto fucking killed this song, He really man. did. He did Thanks. great. Hell yeah. Great. I'm, All right. Uh, Miss Pal Talk. We got a drum roll. <laughs> oh, God, damn it. Made <laughs> Here's the results for Miss Pal Talk. Here it is. Mmm. <laughs> No, we we will announce it on Monday. Oh, come oh on. that the, is the worst. Let the talking begin. We'll yeah. see you Monday.
Man, ah.